Previously on Kingdom of Aldana, wounded and missing some of their members after their fight with the previous dragon, the Heron Stands have utilized their greatest powers to attempt a resurrection on Arvis, who, for better or for worse, was in possession of Said Nevek, who proved to be a negotiable god, and although he has committed Arvis to a deal, was more than willing to return his soul back to Aldana to be convenient to his friends once again. Thus, altogether again, you've traveled for Neverwinter to secure the assistance of Aliana, take a bit more rest and do whatever final preparations you needed to do for the big day. You've contacted the mother of Dragon or her child and secured a meeting on supposedly your terms in her lair in the Blind Forest. You have arrived there late at night, be sure that your friend Zardos is not inconvenienced by the additional illumination. You have found the blind forest lush and overgrown, though bending and following every whim of the mother, her castle itself grown around the shell of the shattered great oak. You've met with mother, trying to negotiate her retreat into the Feywild in return for the life and freedom of her children. She spoke. By your insistence of the past betrayal, her hatred for humans and dragons, though her concession to keep your kind around as subservient and declawed pets, but she would tolerate nothing less than that for her children. Yet that was the moment when Lady Khazar, as previously planned, has finished her ritual in Nebo, the mother of dragons seemingly sensing the ancient powerful worlds being uttered as she escapes through the tree, leaving her eldest children to fight and slaughter you. And thus, ladies and gentlemen, and creatures of Fire Chain ratings, welcome to Kingdom of Aldana, where we start the session with famous last words, Roll for Initiative. And as previously mentioned, some of you may not find the appropriate tokens upon your characters, which I do advise you to put upon such characters, lest they be ignored by me. In the feat of, well, pickishness, I guess. Yeah, Melora, you might you might want to put Hero's Feast on you. Yeah, I was trying to find it. It's this, um, oh god, what is that Pokemon called in English? Uh, it's Cornucopia. Slowpoke? Metapod. Ah, yeah, it does look like Metapod. Um, yeah, Metapod. Used Harden. Safcon. <laughs> yeah, that was the German word for it. I only knew that one. I hate you. Yeah, I don't think there's any other buffs I need. Uh, where's my dragon? Do you have? Ancient... Wait, did they translate Pokemon names to German? Yes. Yeah, they do. As they That's do weird. translate them from Japanese into English. <laughs> no, yeah, but... <laughs> Fuck! Oh, that's oh, what you're laughing about. Okay, okay. Uh, I roll for initiative, but I was talking to myself. Yeah. But I'm gonna screen screenshot this Yeah, it was an because... actual one, I got it. Yes! <laughs> well, I always <laughs> trust when my... Good start. I do always trust my players when they say, it, say they have rolled an actual one. I have literally nothing to lose. <laughs> Alright. Yep. It's uh, as bad as it can get. Let's see, we have Zardos with a 25. Then we have Trega with a 20. Arles with a 15. Well, three of us um, have a common plan in mind, you know, 25, 20, 15, we only have... on one way length. Laura with a four. Uh, what is your total, uh, Lucas? Deus? One. One, okay, so you're last. Yep. Uh, right. uh, the dragon has absolutely no bonuses to initiative. 
Uh, yeah, most dragons have low dexterity, so... Yeah. I'll note that when I sweep the legs. Uh, they usually have proficiency in... Actually, I'm not gonna mention that. <laughs> Alright. So... As the mother has left the playing field, much to your collective sigh of relief, her siblings are left behind, but emboldened and assisted by the shadows that envelop this place, you, Zardos, move swiftly and alertly as you tend to do, thus taking the initiative. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah, it's always a problem with going first. I don't know what to do yet. Alright, I will just. Activate that for now. All right. I believe that is a concentration spell. Uh, it might be. Hint, hint. <laughs> it is indeed a good decision for the. Castle is certainly enveloped in dim light this time of day. Let's step over here for now. Also, I believe, Alice, you have dark vision, though it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yes, it does. That's 20 feet. Mm. Um, yeah, for the reference, so like the trees on the left and on the right, uh, the pink ones. Uh, they provide a bit of cover, uh, like half cover with the tree trunks. The big trunks obviously provide full cover if you move behind them, and uh, the water and the bushes uh, would serve as difficult terrain. Non magical difficult terrain, of course. Okay. Uh, what does this work? Oh, uh, that's it for now. That was just 20 moments of your speed. Was it intentional? Yes. Alright. Very well. So you pause, brandishing your shadowy blade. A stragger springs right after you. What would you like to do, Mr. Paladin? Hmm, I'll move up a bit. Uh, let's see. Could I do this? If I stand here, is Melora in the aura, or do I need to take a step back? Uh, at this point, yes. Uh, in order for somebody to be in your aura, they need to be at least half of their token in the aura. So, for example, right now, yes. Like this, no. Okay, got it. Um, and I will cast as an action... Uh, let me just check... Yeah, it's 30 feet, so we should be fine. This on how many how many do I need to cast this on? Uh After three three? creatures. So I will I will choose um I'll choose me, uh, myself, <laughs> and Irene. No, I'll choose uh me, Zardos, and I, yes. Yeah. Zardos, Leos, and myself, and that's a concentration. 
Right? And there is a specific icon for Bless. That's... Uh, concentration and bless. Where is that? Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah. So Lios is also blessed. Uh mm -hmm. And I think that's my movement. That's my action. Bonus action. I have <laughs> nothing to utilize with. More buffs for the god of buffs. Uh, yeah. That's it. Alright, in that case, at the end of your turn and noticing your actions, the uh, female dragon to the left, which can be seen by her having two horns, shall uh, use her legendary action to cast a spell. Um, sure, I'll counter spell. Alright. No counter spell, no problem. Her spell fades before leaving her mouth. I guess I have more. Alright, and in that case, uh, after Trigger, we have. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, the ground beneath some of you ruptures as roots and vines begin to grow from it, spreading and attempting to entangle you within their grasp. I would like everybody within that area, which is everybody, to uh, make a string saving throw. And by the way, I did double check how this ability works for druids. You're not immune to this because this is magical. You have advantage on the saving throw, Nelora. Yeah, that's what I was just getting ready to look up. Yeah. Right, you do have plus six from Trigger, obviously, which means that you are highly unlikely to fail, but. Uh, yeah, so Arlis 20 something, Trigger 20 something, Leos 20 something. Uh, well, that is, that's. That's. No, he has a bless, but I don't know if it gets him over. It's. Uh... It's what it is. So, 13, 6, yeah, still 19. And Melora's got uh, <laughs> so 17, close. 19 plus 6. So, yeah. You're all safe, obviously, so you are not restrained by the roots. The area, however, remains a difficult terrain, which is a magical difficult terrain. I don't remember how that interacts with druids, so just that's on you. Um, yeah, I'm double checking. All right. Yeah, that was the reaction. And uh, is the male dragon's turn? Who no. shall? Flap his wings thusly as he does a, a leap towards Trigger. And without further ado, and after a short roar, which does nothing to you, ladies and gentlemen, um, he attempts to render Trigger asunder. Bite and claws. Alright. Shouldn't have taken that plus one AC. Okay. So, um, his first hit is a 25. That exactly hits. All right. And then he goes for... Actually, no, let me roll damage because I doubt it, but you might fail your concentration. Uh, this is 20 points of piercing damage plus poison, which you are, yeah, which you are immune to. So 20 points of damage. Uh, concentration DC 10. Sure, you can feel it, but I have I have a plus nine, so so yeah, you can't. Uh, all right, uh, so that was his bite as his giant fangs uh, attempt to sink into your armor. They do not penetrate, obviously, but you feel the pressure and the bruising it puts upon your body beneath the armor. 
And then he gets on his hind legs and strikes at you with both claws. And let's see, 26 to hit. And the natural parry. 20. Should I parry that? <laughs> Yeah, because my reaction can only be used to Sentinel. Yeah, I will parry the... The first claw. Yeah, the right. first claw. So, something interesting happens. As you strike out with your spear, you see that his claw at the last moment goes from I'm going to stab you to... I'm gonna move your spear aside and then at the very same moment as your body moves into a vulnerable position, your left side, you notice that one claw sneaking from behind and seeing the gap in your armor as it actually penetrates and goes deep into your body. So that's... Uh... Two bludgeoning damage? Yes. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, maybe five, you know? Actually, as yeah, a second roll is not that much, uh, a measly 31 point of slashing damage. Well, that's my tough feat. Yeah. Uh, do roll your concentration checks. Oh, right, you did already. Good. Um, all right. So that was his action. And he seems happy to remain where he is as we move to Arles. Beautiful. Um, after having seen the left one just cast a spell, I am just gonna look at a point somewhere behind the two of them as I measure. Right. This would include both of them, 20 feet range. Yeah, this is enough to hit her here. Uh... Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And yes, it does not hit anyone else. So, very, very subtly. Subtly? Synap subtly, synaptic static is gonna go off. Right. Jesus Christ, damage roll. What's wrong with you? Oof, that's weak. <laughs> I mean, it's not much below average. It's six points below average. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so that's intelligence saving throws for both of them. Yes, please tell uh, me their natural rolls. Second. Uh, so, for the brother, we've got a 16. Mm -hmm. And for the sister, we've got a 14. Do they have a fucking plus 6? I mean, let's test. Um... I am going to bend luck the brother with his 16 downwards. Alright, uh, roll it. Um, yep. So she, he also has a 14 now. Uh, okay, so what's his spell to see? 20. They need a plus All 6 right. to succeed. Seem. They get it from me. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, the I brother certainly does, out. the sister doesn't. <laughs> uh... And as that happens, Tides of Chaos go off. Oh, beautiful. Done? Yeah. I'm gonna take option two. Right. And get nice. my level five <laughs> back. Mmm. Um, that was really tasty. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Uh, you see both dragons shake their heads as they seem to be affected by this spell. Hmm, they didn't even use their laser resistance. Interesting. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I don't really have an icon for synaptic static. That's one I haven't made. Model thoughts, model thoughts. I'm just gonna mark it like this for now. All right, uh, anything else you want to do? Oh yeah, we aren't halfway done yet. For my bonus action, I am going to be casting another spell and it's gonna be Quickened and Twinned. Um, and you know the one. No. This one. All right, sure. 
quick and contingent. Uh, so I would like for both of them to Thanks, roll their strength saves. Oh, wow. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, you see yellow bands erupt from the earth as they attempt to envelop both of the dragons. You see... Uh... Hmm, one second. She can counterspell for sure. Oh yes, she can counter spell. She's gonna counter spell. No, that was way too late, honestly. Like I already said I cast a spell yeah, and sure. you didn't use your, fine, uh, your window of fine, 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 fine. I do give you usually a very a very generous window of opportunity. Yeah, but not until we've rolled. We haven't rolled. Uh, true, yet. true, fair enough, fair I'm enough, sorry. fair enough. I just forgot she had the spell. So thank you for reminding me for the future. Uh, I was actually looking at the other spell. Uh Yeah, alright, yeah. And you watch them envelop the brother whose wings become bound while the sister uh, uses her legendary reaction to get free of that. Oh, not reaction. Reaction or uh, resistance? resistance? Yes. Okay. <laughs> legendary you reaction is something new. <laughs> you you want to mark that one down? Oh, yeah. All right. uh, anything else? Um, well, that was action and bonus action. It was very valuable action and bonus action. So um, I'm gonna start moving. Ten. Ah, fuck it. Twenty. What are you doing? Five. What am I doing? I don't want to be in fucking line of sight. Thirty. And then I am going to float upwards on oh, the fuck. castle another ten hmm. feet. One second. Let me give dragons dragon vision because otherwise I do they have a uh, can't check color? line of sight. Okay, she shouldn't have line of sight. No, no, that's what I need. Like I, I was trying to check line of sight by switching to her oh, vision, I... but if I don't give her vision, okay. I can't check it. And what is not working? Come on, second. Okay. Let me check on one of you. Uh, oh, right, that's what I fucked up. Uh, one second. Sight. Uh, this. Sight. Right. Checking. Yep, you're good. Can't see her, you can't see. What? Doesn't matter. All right, fuck it. Uh, all right, yeah, sure. So in that case, at the end of your turn, both dragons at once uh, use their legendary actions to do a 360 no scope tail slam. <laughs> uh, the sister aiming for uh, Zardas and the brother aiming for Trega. Minus D6. Uh, sure. Uh, Trigger, uh, 27 to hit. With the minus D6? Yes. Yeah, Jesus. Yes, for 17 points of bludgeoning damage, which doesn't do anything against your concentration, while the sister does... Um, uh, this might be a miss. Yeah, only 15 on Zardos. Very low roll. Mm. Right, so yeah, her tail swings above you while, like, the brass dragon seems to have just unnerving accuracy. Uh, Alright, uh, any case, uh, this brings us to the sister's turn. As she... swoops up to the sky, taking flight, wings unbound, uh, actually, let's make it 65. Actually, like, she gets up to 65 feet, and then she's gonna cast a spell. Uh, so, can we counter it? 
I hope um, not. I think I can't remember the range of it. It's a sphere. If she's 65 feet up, you can't yeah, do anything yeah. about it. There's nothing any one of us can do. Um, and then she has uh, a bit more movement, which is like 15 feet. So she's gonna go back down to 50, to six, well, yeah, to 60 and move power over here. Let's see, do I have that? No, I don't. Doesn't matter. All right, so that was her turn. She has cast a spell upon herself. Let's see if I need to give you an... And you actually see as she casts a spell as a, like, faintly shimmering, like, rainbow-colored barrier envelops her entire body. And... Just to be fair, so that I don't forget about it. <laughs> Why? What is it? A concentration. I just put concentration on her so that I don't forget about it. No, Ar Arliss was like, fuck us. He knows what it is. Uh, it could be a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like this. Be pain. All right. Uh, that is her. And this brings us to Milora. Um I do have to spell magic. I hope you do. I'm going to Let me see how close Change I have to get. That. 120. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she should be in range. I'm going to try dispel magic. I'll go up to. I'll try level at level six. All right. You cast your spell, and the spell goes off, and nothing happens. You okay. see a plink on the mother's barrier, but it remains covering her like a film of petroleum. If you know what petroleum is in this world. <laughs> And it's Kelsey that can do. Uh, God, I gotta stay in his aura. I can't move. You don't have to! <laughs> no, Please I do. need that. I need that. I gotta try and get... I think I gotta get closer. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah well, you do that. I forgot his... to roll uh, intelligence things. Roll for the sister, so I'm gonna do it now. I think I'm okay where I'm at. All right, yeah, uh, gotcha. All right, um, at the end of your turn, uh, the brother is gonna use his legendary action to continue uh, hammering Traga with his tail. Doesn't seem to be interested in killing anybody else right now. Ooh, yeah, not with that roll. Uh, he hits you, but uh, you stand the full brunt of the hit without any issues. Uh, and at the same time, the sister shall use her legendary action to cast another spell. And the window of opportunity is over. As <laughs> as we can reach. Uh, uh, Zara te technically can. Uh, the artist just doesn't see her. Um, oh, yeah, because she's 60 feet up and we decided that just like whatever is bigger. Um, so she targets you, Trego, with her spell. And let's see. Roll me a 1d2. Oh, that's not Critical fail. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So. Uh, this. Oof. And nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Uh, that was Miller's turn, and now, Lewis, it is your turn. It is big boy time! I'm gonna change shape into my original uh, ancient <laughs> brass dragon form. Alright. 
Um, you do that. Does anything happen in regards to the, the zone that I'm in? You were um, never restrained by it, so you're just in it. It still mm -hmm. counts as difficult terrain, but you can fly, so... Not really. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me check one thing. Okay. Then, uh, can you replace my figure? With, you can replace uh, uh, your figure. Oh, right. I can do that. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, you're not stupid. You're just forgetful. I guess that would be where he is. Yeah, uh, let me move that uh, aside. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, and yeah, move all your put tokens the, put, to it. Yeah, put the tokens on it. And... Uh, Metapod... <laughs> it's Cornucopia! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, oops. Move... Mm. Right into right. his grill. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to stand next to him, I think. Next to uh, yeah, one left. Oh, am I? Yeah. Uh, like this? Or... Let's see. Oh, like, this. His token is a bit of the wrong size, so technically you're supposed to be like this, but whatever. Okay. Um, and I can remove that token because that has vision. Um, yeah, that's all I can do on my turn. Like, the corners of the dragons are technically where the, like, markers are, <laughs> so... Uh, Alright, mm. that's what you do. Um, at the end of your turn, obviously, uh, the brother shall attempt to hammer trigger once again. He really likes to hammer trigger. Oof. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, and that's a 25 to hit. Even Yuck. with the minus d6? Oh, wait a moment. Thank you! Uh, no, it's only Yeah, it just needs minus hit. one and that's it, he misses. Is that 22 to hit? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so that is a miss. Uh, and uh, the sister is also gonna use her action to cast a spell. Uh, which will be... This spell, which I also don't have a marker because such spells nobody uses them, so I never made a marker for it. So I'm just gonna use this temporarily because I remember what the spell does. Alright, uh, and this brings us top of the round, round number two. Uh, for the purpose of Chaos Tides, uh, it is Zardos. Alright, I will cast spell. Uh, cut the spell. Womp womp. Do I need to roll? No. <laughs> okay. Just felt like wasting one of your counter spells. Sure. I've got a lot more than you have. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> it's a lot more precious to us than it is to them. Yeah, please remember you are still in difficult terrain, so... Even just taking one step out? Oh, uh, yes. It's basically 10 feet for you. So yeah, like still have enough. yeah, that's still enough. You do get. Up him. Go for him. Fuck him up! The music I have put on is very good right now. Mm. Alright, and you said this is dim light in here? Uh, it is dim light, yes, so you're welcome to start rolling. <sighs> Alright, so give me a moment, don't roll first. I mean, you're welcome to roll first, but give me a moment. So, as you strike the shadows leading your sword, you see the shape of the dragon in front of you clear as day. And you think you're gonna hit. And then you swing past and... Wait, did you just miss by, by an inch? Impossible. You go for a second strike. And you see the soft spot under the dragon's chin. Except as the sword passes through. 
the dragon has begun to move its head before you did your strike. As if it knew. Fuck. Both of your strikes miss. Continue rolling straight rolls. <laughs> You're not the only ones who can free buff! You've seen the hasted dragon! See the foresight dragon! Right, you do have a, a bless, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, right, that's true. Alright, uh, your third strike does connect, though not as strongly as you would have liked. Uh, but inflicting pain upon the dragon. You have bonus action, you have action search. Uh, bonus action is casting spell. Which spell are you casting? Uh, no, that's what she counterspelled. Oh, all right. It was on this turn, I forgot about that. <clears throat> And Kelsey that I can do? Yeah. Yeah, that's it for now. Alright. Uh, in that case... Uh... Just shout out, he's protected with freaking foresight. In that case, uh, actually nothing happens because uh, stuff. Uh, Trigger, it is your turn. Alright. Um... You've been the receiver I... of the dragon's hammering. Now this time you give him back two folds and penetrate him with your hard sphere. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to use this uh, okay. as the bonus action. Uh, a thing to mention, I just to check the rules today, when you try to grapple or show a creature, it has to be no more than one size larger than you. Oh, yes. is it larger than one size? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Wait, uh, about sizes, actually. Yes. Uh, I'm medium, right? He's yes. considered. Gargantian. So he and is one, two, three sizes them? larger than you. It goes tiny, small, medium, large, huge, gargantian. Okay, so even if I drink in large, it doesn't work. Yeah, uh, it doesn't work. Hmm, okay. I was like, uh, I you I'll can't be grappling dragons. It shouldn't work by the rules. I should check the rules. I don't trust my <laughs> players. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll just attack three times. <laughs> you certainly can do that. I do have bless. You have bless. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a 22, 22 hits. Five. That definitely hits. Uh, it's a twenty-two. Oh, nice. Nope. Okay. Your third strike uh, glances the scales, but it doesn't do anything to the dragon. Just leaves a scratch mark upon them. Okay. Um. Uh. How are you getting your third attack, by the way? Am I? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm... I think he's used to me hasting him I'm on my used first to haste. <laughs> I get it. It's been just oh a God. week so for sorry. you to forget about that. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm used to haste. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, the dragon's going to attack you five times in return. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right. Uh, anything else you want to do? Um, I'm. I think I'm in a good spot. Yeah, I'm in a good spot. All right. So, uh, initiative twenty. Um, uh, I can see. Not a big choice. Not a big choice. Oh, that just make me wisdom saving throw. Show me that that resilient you took. You can do it, Zardas. You do have a plus six. Oh boy. So that's oh, 29. Boom. 29. You notice a tiny, tiny fog machine hidden in the grass that begins working around you, but aside from smelling faintly of vape, it does nothing to you. Uh, Alright. 
Uh, and that brings us to Brother Dragon, who regains all his legendary actions. Uh, the Brother Dragon... Model starts. I do remember it now, but thank you for running it anyway. Uh, shall remain steadfast in his attempt to murder Traeger. For I have nothing else that brings me greater joy than that. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, his bite clamps onto your shoulder and scrapes off it without any deep penetration. The second hit, however, is a 27 to hit. With the minus 1d6? Uh, yes. Uh, 27. True. Let me just check how much the parry gives me. Uh, it gives me plus 3. So that's 25, 28, and you rolled a 27? I could parry that. Uh, parry that, you filthy casual! Yeah, I think I will. I'll parry that. Alright. And his third strike is a natural 20. Nah, no way I can parry that. As again, he uses the same trick he just used. Deflecting your spear. <laughs> and then going in with a claw for a 34 points of slashing damage. Uh, concentration check, please. Alright, you're good on that. Uh, 34, okay. Yes, 30. Uh, and with this, we uh, are left on your turn as a browser only. Aris? Hello? I am 10 feet up. The tangles don't um, affect me, I presume? How are you 10 feet up? Carpet. Oh, right, carpet. I need to burn that thing. I also have the spider cloak, so I could also be walking on this tree, but... So, uh, that was 5, 10, 15. I need to get within 30 feet of her. Am I within 30 feet of the female dragon? Uh, yes. Excellent. I would like to um, hold my hand out towards her as the arcane bracer flashes in arcane dominion. Right. And there is only one magical effect on her that I can see, that is her slight simmer shimmering shield. If you are, well, yeah, that you can see. Doesn't mean it's yeah, that I can see, uh, because it, I can only affect things I can see. Um, and I would like to take control of that. Mm. It's actually non it's not the, the only life. one you can see. But I can choose one magical effect within 30 feet that I can see, and I'm choosing that one. Works anyway. How do you do this? This is my bracer. Oh, Channel cool. Uh... Uh, so she is currently under the effect of of four magical effects. Yeah, I'm. Just yeah, I know. I'm just warning you because that's part of your ability. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, right. And I am going to use my action and expend four charges to try and take control of it. Does she still have muddled thoughts? Did she get uh, it? Right yes, she does. Oh, I need to roll for Brazen one moment. Yeah, please roll for him. And she will uh, be affected by the minus d6 for okay. her spellcasting ability check. Uh, Brazen is going to use his legendary reaction to stop this crap. Uh, Why? It saved me. Oh, that's. That's one of his. What did you say to me just right now? Um, she will be affected. Oh, she yeah. will yeah, yeah, take yeah, yeah. a minus d6 to her intelligence yeah. check when she's yeah, yeah, making yeah. this. And I'm using Tides of Chaos on mine. Cheater. 
I mean, I have a minus three, so she still has a good... Sh oh my god, I'm using Lucky on mine, is what I wanted to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't... It's not even... Uh, somehow it's not subtracting it, even though it's in there. It's actually an 11. My sc check All is right. an 11. Alright, yours is an 11. And yours is minus a d6? Yeah, I rolled a 6 on that, so you take control. Yes! Is it something I need to concentrate on? Uh, yes. I am going to immediately drop concentration. Uh, you also, Can I know what that it was? also means she immediately gets... No, wait. Weren't you concentrating on something? Synaptic static? Does it con is it concentration? Uh, no, the one I was concentrating on is the... The my, no fly speed for him. So I immediately oh. lose that. Alright, okay. And uh, I am in turn also going to drop her concentration. Okay. Synaptic static still remains. Alright, sure. What was this spell, goddammit? This is not her spell? Yeah, that you took control of. <laughs> and for my next trick. I would make him disappear. I might just make him disappear. Cast invisible. Well, I mean, continuing you're finding a mini boss. Mini? Okay, for my next. Trade, I mean, you do plan to find some other dragons today, I assume. I am. Going I mean, you don't to have quicken, to, but. I'm going to quicken, subtle, careful. <laughs> quicken, All right. Subtle, careful. Uh, another synaptic static uh, right in the back, so it'll hit the two dragons, but it'll also hit Zardos. Okay. But Zardos automatically saves. Okay, uh, well, he will still take half damage, so Zardos will take... And quarter damage. All right, yes. Because of uh... me. Yeah. Uh... Um, okay, I need to detract. Minus quick and minus subtle, minus careful, minus four. Ah, sure. All right. Um, okay, and dragons need to do that again. Yes, another in safe, please. Yeah. Please your natural rolls again. Ten for brother. Mm -hmm. Seven for sister. Oh, they're fucked. I'm not doing anything. Are they what? using their legendary resistances? Uh. I mean, for my, for her, it doesn't matter. She already has model. Yeah, but when you cast it on her again, it basically reapplies it. Yeah, so it, uh, she already has it. I mean, she can fail it because it'll only be a difference of 13 damage for her. For him, it's much worse. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, the browser is gonna... Use uh, a second? Use a legend action, yeah. Nice. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Sister, I guess, is gonna take it. No matter. Alright. Um, um, I can still. Okay, I want Can you? <laughs> can you? Yeah, How are you not done? <laughs> I need mother, to... mother. What is happening? I, have, I still have movement. Excuse okay. me. Okay. <laughs> it's only movement. <laughs> but I've got a, a back behind this tasty. Go back behind this tasty dragon over here. Okay, dagger, 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 action. Alright. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, the brother is gonna ground pound trigger. So why not? That's a 26 to hit. God damn. He's so close all the time. You do have a reaction, technically. Uh, do I? Yeah, it was just a turn recently. Yeah, since they're focusing me, I'll keep burning the, uh, whatchamacallit, the parries. Okay. Yeah, don't forget to count down your feathers. As I am, every I am. strike breaks off a single feather from your shield. I'm on four feathers out of seven. All right. Um... So, it was Ara's turn, now it is Sister's turn. What should I do? You're being a problem, Aris. 
I know. It's always the same. You are being a problem. And I don't like you being a problem. I do this. It'll be good if it works. It's not gonna work. But it is, it will be fun. I could do this, it will be very fun. Yeah! I'm gonna do this, this is gonna be very fun, I think. Or I could do this. It'll be even more fun. That would be really fun, just having them give up. Oh, I could do this! Nah, I should do something or more fun. join with us to fight against their mother for her oppressiveness behavior. Nah. That would be the most fun. She was Teenage a good rebellion. <laughs> He was a good yep. mommy. Alright. So she, since she is not concentrating on anything right now, a, a courtesy of Arliss, she shall rise a little bit in the air and cast a spell or Hold the spell. Then she's gonna. No, 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 how far up does she go? Because uh, where she currently is, it doesn't suffice. I'm in range. I'm ten feet up. I mean, I just warned you, so it'll go through no. since she can think of it. But... Sure, she's gonna go up to what is it? Seventy feet. Then I'm still in range. Seventy-five feet. <laughs> now she's out of range. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, she's gonna cast the spell. Actually, she's just gonna cast it because she that doesn't the range of the spell is big enough. And uh, Arliss, I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. They're using her tactics against us. As you feel a hostile mind entering your brain. You're muted. You're still muted. Um, Do you get a plus six, minus three or something? Yep, it's a 20, but that's not going to be enough for her spellcasting, you see. So I will... Do you have... No, you don't have plus. It's no, a very good roll for you. Um, One second. I mean, I could use my last lucky on this, I guess. Up to you. I mean, I need to roll higher than a 16. Ah, it's worth it. I'll try at least. Okay, um, doesn't matter. So it's still oh, a 17. Uh, 20, I mean, in total. 20. That's a success. Yo. Yes! <laughs> Lucky. Woo. You do take seven points of psychic damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a slight headache is all that you get away with. That roll. After this, she has used 15 feet of um, speed. Which means she has... 125? She's gonna swoop down, do this effect, and roll for intelligence saving throw. Get rid of this as well. Okay. Uh, and at the end of her turn, uh, brother is gonna ground pound Fraga one more time. Get his reaction back. 32. That misses. Whew. Okay. 32? Ah, 
I heard 22. No, that hits. Uh, yeah, 21, definitely hits. Uh, 21 point of bludgeoning damage. As you're just holding your shield up as the dragon is going boom, boom, boom with its tail. <clears throat> Do I need to roll a, a con concentration? Uh, no, it's what? This is, this is still 10, so you can't fail it. Okay. All right. Um, Milora, it's your turn. Uh, I got it. Well, let me ask you a question. Um, because of my Arc Druid ability, um, do you need me to announce that my spells are going to be um, non somatic or so that way they can't be counterspelled, or we're just assuming that she's always done that? They are, well, I assume they are always that. Although... Yeah, I just wanted to make sure before I casted anything. Like, do you, like, lose all of your shit? Uh, Lose all of it. No, I mean verbal, somatic, and material. So yeah, they're c constantly subtle. Got it. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Let me have fun. <laughs> right. Um. It's okay. I'm okay. gonna I'll try. I'll have my fun in a week. <laughs> yes, go. I'm for gonna it. try dispel magic on the brother. Oh, uh, sure. At which level? Just level three. Uh, roll your um, a wisdom check, basically. Basically, just straight wisdom, right? Yeah. Nice roll. Nice roll. You got us. <laughs> Fuck. I love the <laughs> <his> reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you. you're taking my toys! <laughs> Alright. I sure. still love you. Sure. Sure. Anything else you want to do? <laughs> um, no, I'm going to stay right here. Alright. Uh, at the end of the turn, uh, the brother is going to attempt ground pound trigger one again. Once more time. Finally, without advantage. 33! Oh, Fuck you! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's payback. Minus six? Is he still muddled? No. No, he went. You no, know, he used two. He used his re. Uh, for a measly, for a measly thirteen points of bludgeoning damage. And uh, the sister is gonna attempt to cast a spell. Anyone counters? I think I'm out of range. Uh, uh, she's fifteen yes, feet up. No, you're not. She's 15 feet oh, down. Oh no, she, she came down. Oh. Sure, I'll count her. Alright. Got it. Uh, this. Ah, well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Uh, there's Start a big dragon around. right in my face. And I will scream at him in draconic and say, Pick someone your own size, you fucking asshole. And I will triple attack him with a bite. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, fuck. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Oh, yeah, right. So let me... Uh, um, yeah. Jesus. D4. Uh, that's, a that's a 21 to hit. That's a 21 to hit. <laughs> exactly, and exactly. A 20 to hit. That's your first two attacks connect to third one does. Nice. So 38 points of uh, damage. Bless. Nice. Worth it. <laughs> yes, All definitely. Right. Any skills you want to do? Um, nah. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, the brother is gonna snarl at you in draconic. Oh, I will fuck your ass after I'm done with this morsel, and try to uh, <laughs> pound trigger. <laughs> So I had a 32, <laughs> I had a 33, but have you had a 34? <laughs> how, how high does it go? Holy shit. You'll it's never... Oh, no. Much higher. I mean, I haven't said a critical hit yet, so I could go higher. Mm -hmm. Well, I am going down on the other number, it's a 12. Nice. And the roll. sister as well shall cast a spell. I've already countered. Alright. So, um, let me, uh, I'll find it. 
Okay, and that means I roll this. Alright. Good to know. Uh, Trigger, the effect of your hero's fist dissipates. Okay. All right. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, top of the round. Top of initiative. Zardos. The female right. dragon is hovering teasingly out of your range, but the brother seems to have found himself in a pickle. And I will use that to say hello to him. Say hello to my little friend. Bonjour! That's right, yeah, uh, whatever you like, extra hit points was, is also gone from Minus four. Mm hmm. It is. All right, uh, 24 connects, 30 connects, 30 connects. Um, nice, look at that. That's damage. a nice damage. Uh, 48, and that connects as well. After your barrage strikes, and those are dragons. Reduction surge, keep going. One moment. Oh, Though yeah. the dragon doesn't look hurt physically, you do see the familiar sign of blood pulling around his eyes. Oh yeah! Oh, As your nice. strikes continue to connect. Give him that sweet, sweet shoot. That, that 21 miss because I didn't add plus. 21 uh, no, uh, hits. 21 hits. 21 hits. Yeah. Okay. I should bend the spell for the next campaign. <laughs> It just feels so much better than everything else. Yeah, it's impossible to match. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna ban it, I'm just gonna nerf it. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna bring it in line. Alright, uh, and because you wanna do the dragon is still alive, though he is definitely not looking good. Uh, that's everything. Are you sure? That's a lot of damage. Alright. Well. Uh, by failing to deal uh, more than 200 points of damage, you surrender the glory to Trigger. For Trigger, it is your turn. And I don't think he's gonna survive another 200 damage. I don't... I can't output that much damage without preparing, but I will use my bonus action to drink a Supreme Potion of Healing. Oh, okay. Nice. So that's a uh, 10d4 plus 20. So I received 40. As a legendary action, the dragon is gonna drink his supremest potion of healing, which is like yeah. a full heal in the Pokemon. No, I thought he was gonna. Full restore! Potion counter. And the mother uh, is gonna drink PP restore to get her 9th level spell slot back. <laughs> so I no longer have supreme healing. So that's zero, and now I will use my action to attack him twice. Greetings, Supreme Healing Snoke. <laughs> uh, 24? Yes. And a 21. I do have blood, yes. but I hit on both. And you do hit on both. And you draw blood. The dragon seems to be quite befuddled. Oh boy, this is gonna be quite embarrassing. Are you guys in a hurry? Take your time. Where's my head? I had both dragons in it. <laughs> Any skills you want to do? Um, I only have movement left, and I think I'm in a pretty good spot. All right. So, no, I'm good. Uh, take one off of Bless. Okay. I'm counting the uh, I'm counting the rounds for bloods. Yeah, that's that's a very good idea. All right, so uh, at the end of the turn, uh, we are in in layer action turn, as uh, the brother digs his claws deep into the ground, and from it, a thorny wall of bushes springs between him. And you, Trega, and Zardos. I need you and Zardos to make a dexterity saving throw. And uh, Leos as well, for good measure. 
sorry again. What was that? Uh, make dexterity saving throws. Oh, <laughs> prepare for strong rolls. Oh, 24. Um, I'm blessed. All right. You're, you're blessed. You're also 26. Blessed. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I'll try this. No way. I'm 14. All right. So uh, let's see. Fail uh, safe takes. Uh, Trigger, you take a 20. Oh, it was. All right. You don't take 20. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's save. Which coming? It's uh, 15. I don't know if that's safe. Yeah, it made the save. You're not taking 20 anymore. And is it a spell? No. Man, this bless is really worth it. <laughs> Gotta make Dan use his actions to dispel every something. Bless is one of the best spells, especially in level one. Yeah. I, th I think it's a spell that can be used for the entire campaign easily. Yeah. If you're yes. a cleric, you can always just cast that and you're contributing more than enough to a combat. Clerics have a lot of good other concentration spells, though. Yeah. Plus, please remember that in most campaigns, you don't have a plus six uh, to your constitution saving throws for free. Right. Um, I check the, D, the most manual. I feel like something is not written in the book, uh, in the database I'm using, because this makes no sense. For this to happen on the success. Wall of Thorns? Not quite. Wall of Shitwrecker? This, uh... It's like by the current reading, succeeding is worse than failing. What? Oh, it's correct. That's what's written. To my all. Uh, uh, I choose to fail. No, what? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm? Oh, that's how it works. Yeah, like every single version of the spell works like this, which kind of feels weird to me, but that's how it works. All right. So, uh, since uh, all of you have uh, succeeded, uh, let me put this on the map, that Wall of Thorns. Oh, wow. uh, actually, let me move here because... Oh, that's... that's too... Nope. We're on top of the vines. Alright. Uh, yes. So, um, there's a wall. You succeeded, which means you take no piercing damage, and you aren't pulled out of its space. Which means you remain in space. But then I take damage on the start of my turn? Yes. And it counts as double difficulty rain. Oh yeah, it's quarter movement. Yeah. I mean, I would have preferred to separate you from the dragon, but... This feels weird, but every single writing of the spell reads the same, so... Okay. Alright, well, there's a wall. It definitely does block line of sight, so you, Melora, now uh, don't see. How tall is it? Uh, it's 10 foot tall. Uh, let me actually put it on the map as a light blocker. I'm 10 feet up, but okay, yeah, that's unfortunate yeah, right. for me. Is that good for Jesse? For you? Yeah, sorry. No, I'm, yeah. Um, oh. Alright, yeah. Alright, yeah. Fine, it's, it's Brother's turn. Oh boy. This is. This is. This is. 
is the same. It's getting pounded. Yeah, he certainly is getting pounded. Alright, uh, well, uh, he's got a plan and he's gonna stick to it. It's a good plan. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's the best plan I have. Especially ca considering the fear of missing out. Chomp! 29! That hits, and I can't parry it. That's 17 points of piercing damage as he gives a death grip into your arm and then attempts to like envelop you in his claws and just go down your back. It is, however, well, it is a 23. That misses. I'm in, still in 30 feet. And a 26. Are. That hits, but I could parry it, which you I could. Will. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. it. Yeah, I mean. Ah, ah, Alright. Done. Just calm down. Take this. And remember, every single time they make you unhappy in this fight, you'll be very happy in the next fight. <laughs> yes. Alright. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's what he does. He gets his legendary actions back, though. So I'm not sure if he's gonna leave to use them. Because Arliss, it is your turn. Um can I see him from here? Uh yes. I mean he does have like some I... cover because of Leos, but I assume you don't care mm -hmm. about that. I would like to cast a firebolt, so in case she plans to counterspell she may, but I don't care if she does or not. Um don't you need to be in sight? Uh, he is. She sees me. Yeah. I am up there. Yeah. I'm not. Um, oh, okay. Oh, just I'm like you, she has no first. way of figuring out if you're casting a country for a spell. So yeah, yeah. she's gonna counter spell that. She's used to you doing really crappy stuff with your things, so she's gonna do that. Which is fair enough. Mm. This is annoying. I do enjoy how you're calling a fight against two ancient dragons annoying. <laughs> I mean, I don't have great options of doing damage. Oh. You think I do? I, well, your machine there does some damage. Um, Let's see. And I just used my action. I'm I this fight is technically double the deadly for you guys. Does it feel like what? double the deadly? Damn it. Yeah. Like a deadly fight is supposed to like one of you might die. Does it I'm, feel I'm feeling like it. Double the deadly? I'm I'm feeling it, yeah. yeah. Trego does. Yeah. Really? No, okay. no, no. As long as no one has lost consciousness, uh, you're not feeling it. <laughs> this is actually going pretty well for us. <laughs> Alright, anyway, Ardis, do you have a plan? Unfortunately I do not have a great plan. Give me any plan! So... Actually, I'm in no hurry. So actually, what I'm going to do I'm gonna is eat a banana. fly. Oh my god, I can't fly over this wall. Damn it! Uh, I need to go around. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. Well, I can't. Now I can. Well, now I can't see the other side. Sadly, I can't um, make some walls. That was five, possible, and ten. some impossible. 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 I think I can't. And and I would like to. Rise up. Really cool if you could. Oh no, I can't rise too high. But I am going to. I mean, it doesn't really differ. Huh? I'm gonna eat your carpet. I'm just gonna grapple it from beneath you, and I'm gonna swallow it with a dragon. Fucking. I need to get rid of this. I am going to quicken Earthbind in her direction. Just at her. I don't care about him anymore. Ah, uh, bum 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 bum. Where was I? Uh, quicken Earthbind means a strength saving throw. Yeah, I'm not doing it for that, I'm doing it for this. Around 265, 235. No? No! Thank god. No. Fuck me. 
and please tell me her natural roll. Nine. Plus eleven. Are dragons proficient? I don't think so. Nah, I will leave it be. I will allow it. I think she'll probably get up to like uh, 16 or 17, but I don't think she can make it. She fails it. She uses legendary resistance? Sure, why not? I got like 12 more. No. No. She falls. She fails it? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, if she's gonna be doing that, then uh, that was 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. 35. Yeah, I'm good here. She can run over to me if she likes. That's the end of my turn. She fall out of the sky. Yeah, she's prone now. And uh, not prone, but on the ground. Mm. And she may fall from the sky. She may, like... Well, not yet. Because it's not her turn That's, yet. Yeah, part of her turn, sure. Alright, um... Okay. So, at the end of your turn, Brother is gonna use to his legendary action to flap his wings. I'd like uh, Traeger, Leos, and uh, Zardos to make a dexterity saying throw. 31. We are all blessed. I'm blessed. 32. Uh, 28. All right. Uh, Zardus is the only one who fails. So uh, he takes uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone. 20 doesn't make it. Why do you have a 20? Or no. Uh, yeah, it's a 20 yeah, in total. He it's, gets a plus uh, 6 for me. It before. still doesn't make it. 11 plus 6, that's 17. Plus 3, that's 28. And this brings us to Sister's turn. Who we'll descends to the ground. Wait, what happened on the field save? Uh, he is knocked prone and takes certain points okay. of damage. Does she take damage falling? No, because the spell says she descends. Oh, does it? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. It would be super OP against dragons if that was the case. That's the point. I mean... I mean, it already is, so... Yeah, I think this is better. Because if I use this fun spell, then it takes this much, and I can't. All right. She... Uh, did Dan freeze for you too? Um, yep. Oh, oh there no, he is. He's still working. He's super he's robot. freezing. Yeah, yeah. roboting. Uh, now I look surprised. Oh, now it's better. Okay. His eyes, I see His eyes are the only <laughs> things that are moving. He's giving us the bird. Yeah, he's going in super slow motion for me now, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's him hear. deliberately. It's for me, not blank screen. Blank? Uh, it's from... That black uh, screen. Oh. No, that's moving. Has the drop... Rate, uh, uh, upload rate dropped again. I don't, I hate, okay, I can't hear us anymore. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks uh, like oh. he just went yeah, off. Yeah, he just like left super fast. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, Who is using the happens. internet? Yeah, the dog. Dogs don't want to cat videos. I still have one superior potion of healing, and if all goes wrong, I have lay on hands for 100. And if my bless falls, then I can use uh, aura vitality, but I don't think I want to use that. This is combat. Uh, maybe at the end, um, when we start wearing down uh, the other dragon. And we're yeah, tra well, transitioning into the next. I don't know if we're f like walking from one fight into the other one directly. I think we might have a couple of minutes in between. Yeah, um, I mean, because we yeah, so might did. go onto the ship and fight from there, and that will take us a bit of time. So maybe you can like cast the aura of vitality as then. we run towards that ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Ars said that between. This fight in the one with the mother, we have time to rest. She wanted us to hopefully not take too long. Yeah, it's. Not, I don't think we'll have a short rest. Maybe a short. Maybe rest. a short no, rest. A short rest. Sure. I was speculating Long that rest the portal only uh, gave her passage to the end of the black, uh, blind forest. Can I see? <sighs> okay. Yes, everything looks fine so far. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Wonderful. I'm enjoying this very much. All right, uh, back to business. What was I talking about? Oh yes, what she's gonna do? What she's gonna do when she comes for you? All right, yeah. So the mother of dragons uh, descends uh, safely to the ground. She's not the mother. Uh, or is she a mother? The she's sister of dragons. Uh, <laughs> sister of dragons. Yes. Uh, descends uh, safely to the ground. She not tell her mom that she had kids. Is that what's going on? She is also mother of dragons, yes. She's, she's just not the mother of dragons. Uh, whereupon uh, she shall uh, cast a spell, or hold the spell more like, uh, doing concentration. And then she's gonna so run forward about the A and that barely gives me a line of sight on Zilin. Which isn't here. Uh, who isn't here. Yeah, which is very nice. Um, so... Yeah. Oh, he's back. Did it make me an intelligence saying throw, please? You, I That's think you get a plus six. I don't oh, know. Come I can't on. See if you're uh, he doesn't. No. He's way out of your aura. Don't think he hurt you. What kind of safe do I need to make? Intelligence! <laughs> Wait, she sees me here? Yes. She sees your foot. I mean, can I counterspell when she's casting? Uh, no, she cast it before she reached you. Well, goodbye, peoples. <laughs> I wish. I mean, for a little while. For this combat, I'm gonna be a... Uh... She fucking managed to move all the way over here. Fucking... Uh, uh, why wouldn't she be? Wait, she failed the saving throw. Isn't her speed zero? Her flying speed no, is zero. No, movement. Uh, flying speed, yeah. Not general speeds. Now, dragons um, can do more than just fly. What? Since when? This is madness. Uh, did you roll it? I am currently looking over my things if I like have anything that I'll be you able don't. to use after this. <laughs> no! No things! <laughs> no, no things. I am just gonna be fucking feeble-minded. Yeah. I wish. Uh, you take 14 points of uh, psychic damage. Mm -hmm. And... Um. Oh fuck. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh huh. I take that and. And you see, as the ground around you erupts 
in a wall of thorns which surrounds you and uh, oh. captures you in a yeah. cage of one. thorns. You are currently restrained. No, it is blocking line of sight. You can't hear anything beyond it. Yes, yeah, I know. Alright, uh, did you did you need to roll? Oh yes, you did already. Okay. I already did. Yeah. And that was. Thanks. Alright. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, that's the end of her turn. And then of her turn, the brother is gonna do one more attempt to kill Trager by pounding him with a tail. Uh, it is a 28 to hit. Don't believe you uh, have a reaction. Hits. Yeah, so that's 16 points. Even if I do, it still hits. Yeah, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. What? Oh, that second hit. Alright, did you take it, 16? Yes. Alright. And this brings us to Milora's turn. Um, I want to ask, because technically I can, according to my sight, on my character, I can see a small sliver of space through here. Is that accurate, or will we say that my sight's completely blocked off from that it area? It is completely blocked off. Okay, just wanted to make sure. At least, yeah, at your current... Uh... Yeah, I fixed it. At your current position. Gotcha. And yeah, she is obviously very close to you. Um, shoot, I don't see Arliss, so I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna thunder step away from her. Okay. And that's my bonus action. So... So, Constitution saves from... No, she saves. She takes 10 points of thunder damage, and doubtless you are within range as well. I'm taking damage? Yes, thunder step. You feel something thunderous pound you through the wall of thorns. Because Melora wouldn't have any idea where you were, no, so... he wouldn't. Um... I mean, I'm 10 feet up, that doesn't change anything about it's it. It's a 10 foot sphere, right? Yeah, um, creature within 10 feet of the space we left, so... It doesn't even say which um, size it is, um, it's just within on 10 safe? feet. On safe, yeah. In. Uh, mine is, in that case, a 14, which is a fail. So we take a 21 points of thunder damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, so you do that as an action, um, and then... Uh, um, trying to see what spell I can do now. I wasn't planning on this, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> and I was looking at how Salem do... looks at me in such situations. I think we're confused which one of us is the real green dragon. Uh, 2d6 isn't that much damage. I'll do... I'll do Lightning Bolt level 3 at her. Um... Thunder Step's a bonus action for me because of the sure. Dragon Sure. I'm just but seeing she's got a counter spell I mean, oh, isn't also that, yeah. Most level three spells. Yeah. So how does that work then? Because if it's a bonus action, doesn't matter. Then you I can can't only cast an action up to level two. Oh shoot! If I would have known that. Uh, you do know that. You just forgot about it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, what about D D players? We're aware of many things! Can I still use my reaction to half damage and cast a spell? Or too late? Uh, which spell? Thunderstep. Um, 
Oh, you're definitely too late. Okay. By okay. your own insistence. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'll drop a level two moonbeam on her. Okay. Uh, except you won't because she's gonna counter spell that. Oh and wait, she can't. Casting. She can't. She can't. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Don't <laughs> moon uh, what is it? Uh, five feet radius. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting ready to put the box down. All right, you put the box down. Well, she doesn't take it yet. She's gonna take it at the start of her turn. If she survives right. the long. Um. Okay. Uh. Boom. 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 I don't think so, no. Alright, uh, in that case, uh, at uh, the end of your turn, uh, she's gonna uh, use her legendary action, uh, solo action, uh, to cast a spell on you. And you lose the effect of the hero face. Alrighty. Uh, bum, 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 bum. This brings us to Leo's turn. Uh, five feet radius, not five foot side square. So double that. Um, I'm gonna do the multi attack on the brother. Right in front of me. Bite. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't need bless for that. Um, claw, I think that one I should bless. <laughs> I don't really have a uh, choice, but... That's a 22. And another claw, it's a natural one. Yes! No point in blessing that. Alright, yeah. As you the bite into the dragon... Hit? Yeah, 22 plus hits and claw at him. Cool. You see that he is barely holding on. And ah, if only. Yeah. And it is upon his blood that you slick your second claw attack and miss complete. The deep red lubricant. You just move a bit. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Thank you. Sure. I can uh, give you a bit of space to move out of the thorns if you want. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. <clears throat> All right. Uh, then we turn. The sister is gonna. This could be interesting. Is this her turn or her no, legendary, her legendary action? action? Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna, she's gonna cast a spell on herself. Alright. Um, no, finished the round four. Zardos, it's your turn. Okay, I will stand up. Three. It's half my movement, and it's a double. Second. Double operating this. If you want to get through it, it's uh, quadruples your. Well, each foot of movement costs four. And the wall is five foot thick. Actually, at the start of your turn, you need to make me dexterity saving throw. Because you're in the wall. You get a plus six and you get the bless, so I don't know. 14, uh, 14 is not enough, uh, so you do take. Uh, wow, 25 points of piercing damage. Uh, roll me con check. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, stand up, take all that damage. Mm -hmm. You have 15 feet of movement left. 15? Yeah. And it's going to take more than that to get out of here? Or... Um, definitely. 
Like, with 15 feet you can go, what, like, 3 feet? You can't even move a square. Yeah, like, if with your full movement speed you can move a single square. Yeah, I'll misty step over. Right. The brothers are gonna cut the spell that No. Fuck them up. So, yeah. How do you want to do this? Yeah. All right. I misty step over behind him and just ram the shadow blade into is that his back is ass. So it's a shadow blade right up the butt. Thankfully, with the dragon, the shadow blade has no physical form. Thus, yeah, his death yeah. is merely painful and not humiliating. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. The way Dargo is surviving a mere 24 seconds is humiliating in its own way. Um, a record of my, It's my sec next action to, I don't know, drink some blood from this thing? Uh, Attack action drink? Uh, how does the bite work? Like, the target needs to be grappled or incapacitated? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a king game at this point. Okay, uh, sure. Give it a bite. Wait, you're at you're at the rear area, right? That's what you said. Yep. Yes. Right into the haunches, yep. Well thank you for you, the dragon does have hemorrhoids, so as he leaves <laughs> leak gently the scaled ridges <laughs> of an ancient green sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> you drink <laughs> generously. <clears throat> All right, dragon rock. I do need you. Well, you do get your blood token, but I do need you to make a wisdom saving throw. You do have plus and my plus six. Uh, which you will probably need. That's a 16. That's a 20. Huh? As enjoyable as the blood is, you stay focused on the task at hand. That's, no, right, that's right. a good question. I remember... Check the crap again. Oh, and I got some blood. Yeah, do you heal from that? Oh, yes, that's it. Uh, how many... Well... How many essence points do I get from Dragon? Uh, one. I mean, the, for the sword. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, You're full, it's okay. <laughs> what is that? You do the kill, so you take like full hit dice, yes? For the kill? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, in that case, 22. That's a lot of essence. I'll use my last 15 feet of movement to let's move around here. Mm-hmm. That's it. Next. Right. Uh, I'll take my heel in a sec. Okay. Oh, Shrekka, it's your turn. Uh, make me take 16. I take so. damage, right? Yeah. Uh, 15. Uh, you save, so... Uh, 19. Sure. 
In that case, it's only 9 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, I can move out of this, right? I'm not... Uh, like... It still counts as super difficult terrain for you, but yes, you can. Which means... You like basically much... can just you move 5 feet in whatever direction you want, and that's all you can do. Isn't 5 feet just 20 and he still has 10 left? Oh yeah, well, yeah, after he's gonna move out, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Except he's moving into another difficult terrain, so he's gonna have 5 and 5. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do... Oh, you can expand the spell slot and do Misty I'm... Step. You've got a lot of those. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> can I... Um, oh, th this is maybe a rule thing, but I want to Misty Step and Mount Leos. Does that... Can I do that? No. Can I Misty Step next to him, use half of my moon speed to mount him? Uh, sure. Okay. I assume Cleos allows you to. Sure. Do you? Okay, so I use a uh, Misty jump. Step. That's that. Uh, that's a bonus action. Mounting him is an action. I will sit over here, I guess. Or, yeah, I'll sit over here. Um... Sit center of mass. As I mentioned center to you, uh, while you're riding this, uh, you are um, limited by the reach of whatever weapon you're currently using. So, with the five foot reach of your spear, you can't reach anywhere. Basically. I can't attack. Okay. No. Yeah, but I just need to dismount and then run. Yeah, yeah. Or turn your spear into lens because while you're mounted, you can wield the lens with one hand. Oh, I, that, that'd be cool. I should not have told um, you that. I should not have told you I that. Wanna, I was about to say it myself. <laughs> I want to use my action. To mount to... him? No. Properly. He I mean, just said you took yeah. an action to mount him. Oh, I, he, half his I thought movement. half movement speed. That's what you said. Yeah, I said no, I said half movement speed. Use Misty Step as a bonus action to get near Leos, and then use half my movement speed to mount him. Yeah. If is it an action? If it's not an act, if it if you it's ask action, me, well, I don't know. You're the DM. You roll upon this. Usually, mounting things. You want to mount things. You should speed. remember the rules for doing so. Yes, it's half your speed. It is. Yeah. Okay. So I have an action, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I would like to. Uh, what would I like to do? I would like to lay on hands on myself. Uh, for. I don't want to use everything, so I'll use. 40 hit points. Should be fine. Yeah, I'm healing up for 40. Alright. And uh, that is my turn. Alright. At the end of your turn, the light action happens, so having no better targets, uh, the dragon is gonna summon the magical fog around Melora. I need Melora to make me a wisdom saving throw. This is right. gonna go well. For Melora, yes. Yeah, alright. <coughs> uh, and we are here, so he's dead. So, Alice, it is your turn. Oh. I am clear on the fact that this is a spell, right? No. Nope. Because I heard her cast it beforehand, before she came around the corner? Sure, but uh, you would have... Wouldn't that make it a spell for me? No? No, not really. I mean, she didn't cast it at you, she just heard her cast a spell. And then she came around the corner and vines appeared around you. I'm going to dispel magic. So, oh, why do you ask me anyway? I wanted to know if I heard her cast a spell. Make me a perception check. She did it really far away, it means sounds of combat. Six. You didn't. 
I am not casting Dispel Magic. In that case, I am going to Dimension Door. And I am going to be Dimension... How tall is this tree? How tall do I remember it? Uh, about 100 feet tall. I will Dimension Door upwards about uh, 80 feet. And stick to the... Try to stick to the thing immediately. You're leaving a card because behind. Because I have to cloak. Huh? You're leaving a card behind. Yes. Um, so first, let me get my level 3 back. Expand my level 4. And check for... <laughs> yes. So as you... Dimension door... And appear 80 feet upwards yeah. on the trunk of a tree. You see the trunk of the tree warp itself again, trapping you in the same thorn cage. Okay. That uh, says enough for me for the next turn. Uh, also, this means I am getting a surge, I think. Yes, I am indeed getting a surge. And I am far up there, so I guess I'm taking the second option of the map. And uh, that'll be the end of my turn, since I am restrained 80 feet up. Alright. <laughs> Alright, top of her turn. Uh, Miller, roll me as a Moonbeam damage. Gotcha. All right, and could do that. Also, do that. I think I'm going to do that. Range on that. Uh. All right, fair enough. Mm. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. All right, so she's going to run around here. Which I think gives you line of sight on uh, Trego and uh, Lius. And she will cast a spell. I'm restrained, I can. I mean, you I'm blinded see, and all, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Uh... Right. Yes. This. Uh, yeah, she runs around the corner, casts a spell, and uh, Leos and Traeger, you watch as... Like this. Actually, no, they don't see anything. So yeah, you watch her run around the corner. Cast a spell, and then around back around the corner. Yeah. Ah, uh, bum 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 bum. Param param param. Uh, that was your turn. I'm Laura. It's your turn. All right. Um, I'm gonna drop concentration on Moonbeam because it's not worth an action at that low level. All 
right, and now I'll cast um lightning bolt level four at her. Yep, yeah, fair enough. She can't kind of spell it. This dexterity. Ooh, that's a good roll. That's a good roll. Uh, all right. Uh, so that's a thirty-six points of damage to him. Does she need to make a concentration check? Uh, she does. Uh, Her thoughts are still muddled. Minus T six. No, she has long since saved from that. Okay, you didn't say so. Okay. I did, and I removed the token. Okay, I didn't hear it, my bad. Six. This is 18, right? Mm, should be 19. Fine. No, not spell save for the contract, he means. Oh, yeah. Yes, 18. Oh, yeah, she says. So yeah, she holds on to concentration. Alright, and I am going to move. Make sure I got... Yeah, I got enough movement speed to get around. And I will hide behind the wall. Alright. Um... Did I lose you? Hmm? No. Because she can hear you. Mm. No, well, I can't see my little token anymore. Because she moved behind the wall of thorns. Yeah, I should still be able to see you on the map. Oh. She has more control than you. <laughs> well, as Melora is plane shifted to unknown dimension. <laughs> If it helps, I'm literally right at the, right next to the first block with the thorn wall on it. Yeah, you are under Zardos. No. I was? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I'm sorry, I did not see that. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Hi there, <laughs> she looks As up Milora moles from beneath the ground and pops her head. <laughs> At the sphincter Wait, sucking Zardos. Uh, Zardos. <laughs> Alright, can you please move to a different location because that's Zardos' location. Yeah, do I have enough movement to move down? I should. I have no I freaking idea. You were here, how many moments do you have? Yeah. 30. Okay. Well. Alright, because you moved to sail through the wall without watching where you're going. Uh, you just move yourself in... What do you call them? In... Alright. A bits and pieces. And while I can see my next move. I am gonna go with that. With the other thing, but whatever. Uh, Alright. Um, sure, okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. That was your turn. And then every turn, the dragon's gonna cast a spell uh, that nobody is close enough to cast spell. So this brings us, Leos, to your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, just a question for my consideration. There's this huge, thick ass wall here. How well, I wouldn't call that? it huge. It's just ten foot tall. Okay. Then I wanna fly up. All right. Ten, As ten you feet? spread your wings, you mm -hmm. feel your wings hit and become restrained by something invisible that seems to be all around you. And as can you flip them, mm -hmm. you can move within your own space. You feel your wings touch as if invisible bars of a jail cell that surround you on all directions. Mm. So she cast a 
So I can neither al uh, also not walk forward or backward. No, no. Completely no movement. Okay. Nope. Well, you can just move in your space, so like you know, like a cat inside a box. Wait, why mm. can't you move? Ah, wall of force. Yeah. And as you like touch them, you see that uh, the like spaces between those bars are extremely narrow. There's no way you could squeeze through them. Oh. She walked around the corner, cast a spell on Trigo and Leos. I forgot about this. Uh... Hmm. Well, this is bad. I'm gonna hold action, my action, mm -hmm. to fire breath uh, in the direction uh, of the sister if she appears again in my right. sight. Yeah. As long as I have a clear shot on her without hurting like Arliss or. Yeah, I mean, you you don't have to use your hold action if you don't want to. So like, if she appears but Arliss is in line of fire, you don't have to use it. It's not like, oh no, you said it, you trigger it now. Okay. You can. You, you uh, always can yeah. choose to let it go. You just can't change what the trigger is, basically. Uh. Okay. Um. Stop okay, reading yeah, gonna... the books to find out what spells I'm casting. <laughs> um. I was more considering my options if I have. I'm not talking to you. If I have any option of, you know. It's not. It's it's not like I could turn into a mouse and walk through the the bars, right? I mean, you can try. They are very narrow. A mm, mouse, mouse might make it. It's hard to say. I can turn into a beast, and I think a mouse counts as a beast. I would say mouse counts as a beast. Yes. I mean, a spider mm. counts as a beast. I'll hold my breath and see. <laughs> I'll hold my it. breath. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Yeah. In that case, at Zen... Uh, I will also say to, to Trago, I won't go anywhere or something's around me. Caging me in. Yeah. Uh, in that case, at the end of your turn, the Mother of Dragons... Oh, no, no, no. The Sister Mother of Dragons... <laughs> the Mini Mother of Dragons... Uh, is gonna cast a spell at Arliss. Mm -hmm. Uh... Can she at randomly dispel her own spell here? I will find Is there a out. Chance for that? Uh, not for that. Uh, let's see. Ugh, nothing happens. Good enough. Nice. Okay. Uh, boom, 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 boom. That was Leo's uh, top of initiative. Zardos. What's up? Boy, did it taste good. I'm never gonna leave this down to you for you. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where she is. So... Oh, there you are. Do I have enough left to do this? Let's keep doing this. This is messing up, but okay. Um, okay. I uh, have much range. Let's 
We haven't really burned any for resistances. I don't want to lose the soon. There's only one way to find out. Consult your notes. <laughs> I yeah, will just take a couple shots at it from here with the arrow. So, in order to do that, you need to drop Thirst and Shadow Blade. You need to drop both of them. Well, I can drop Shadow Blade and still Thirst because I have a, like a quick draw. That with the uh, dual wheel feed, I can. Does it work on both? Well, if I'm just dropping Thirst, I mean, uh, Shadow Blade, it's fine. I'm not actually trying to put it away. And draw or stow two one handed weapons. So you can. You still need to drop either uh, Thirst or Shadow. One of those needs to be dropped. Yeah, saying drop and shadow, or okay. just letting shadow fall to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> shadow. Right, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, you do that. Uh, you. Yeah, drop shadow, you put away thirst, you draw your ball, okay, yeah, go ahead, take your hits. Your first attack just misses completely. Your second Less. one. Oh, you right. have plus, you have plus. I mean, the first one's gonna miss anyway. Uh, yeah, the first one misses completely, the second one actually is gonna hit with a 23, and the third one is gonna hit as well. But as your attack strikes the dragons, uh, you notice that they don't do much damage. Good to know. Okay. And that'll be it. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Trigger, it is your turn. Am I considered also in this thing that Leos is in? Uh, I mean, you don't see it, so you're not sure. Uh, Most likely, but you're not sure. Okay. That's, I guess that's true. Uh, fuck. Can, okay, I can argue. Can I see over the wall? <laughs> uh, it's invisible, so yeah. Uh, sure. Okay, I I can't see currently, so I don't know like what's going on over here. Uh, not much. Uh, yeah, where's like where's Arliss? I see Arliss, but where's Zardos yeah. and the, and the daughter of dragons? Uh, Zardos is uh, Zardos is here. She is here. Where? Uh, Down next to me, basically. Where bottom I left of the tree. Up okay. here. Okay. So I need to get to Arliss. Got it. Um, okay. I will... I need to... Misty step... Like... Oof. 30 feet? Question mark? Uh, if you see That's there, then easy. yes, you can. Yeah, I do see that. All right. Uh, okay. Except, uh, except, uh, except your... Ah, why not? Uh, make me charisma things wrong. Right. 37. Yeah, I mean, I have a plus 18. That's the best one I have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was like plus, plus 6, plus 6, plus 6. Jesus Christ. Also, I have less. Wait. Yeah, skull for yeah. 40. There go you go. Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> All right. Highest safe ever, I think. Pretty sure. I think so, yeah. Um. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, I, I see you. That's, that was my bonus action. Hi. Right. And as my action, I shall attack. Uh, she's not in the air, right? She's on the ground? She's on the ground. Yep, she can't fly. 
Okay. Uh, have bless. Mm-hmm. Thank God for bless. coming in so fucking valuable. Uh, that does hit. Um... That also... Um, I mean, I can't. Can I stand here to give I'm other feet? Down? I'm 80 feet oh, up. Oh, you're 80. Okay, okay, never mind. I thought you're. I can't see no, with no, all I'm the tokens on, on you. I'm way up the tree. Okay, I thought. Stand, okay, okay, never mind then. I'll, um. Yeah, I'll stand here. Nice. Right. Uh, yeah, as you strike her with your spear, you notice that the metal of the spear itself does not dig, dig, dig deeply into her skin. And does a lot less damage than you're used to. The the metal of the spear? Yes. The piercing damage. Yes. Okay. Alright. Um, Lair action. She's concentrating. I guess she doesn't need to make a check. Uh, not against those damage, no. You're not the only ones who ought to save those DCs. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, uh, I mean, this is not gonna work, but there's no really better option, so try to make me a wisdom save, so... Oh, oh, shit! Oh, here it comes! Wait, what? Oh, wow. oh <laughs> god! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> you find that magical fog Billowing around your head, and as you inhale it, we gaze upon the dragon. And she is the most beautiful and wonderful and friendly dragon you have ever seen. Oh, is this charm? Oh, yes, it's charm. Except so you advantage? would have thought that if you weren't a fucking half elf. Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I bet I say Melora getting jealous fucking here. Half elves. Stinical jobs. And our skill points. And our charms. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Uh, okay, yeah. Sure. Fun. Uh, Alice, it's your turn. Well, since that one didn't work, I am now trying to dispel it. She's not in range, she can't dispel me. Um, I assume I need to make a check? Uh, yes. Tides what are you? Chaos. What are you dispelling? The fucking cage around me. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. So that's a 23. But yes, that's gonna have to get rid of it. Thank you, gods. Yeah, really yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna do it. I also don't understand why it doesn't, like, use it from time to time. Okay. And I am up this tree, 80 feet. I see my beautiful thing down below. I'm gonna start uh, climbing down the tree, 30 feet. <laughs> so I'm you mean walking uh, down the tree? Walking down the tree. Where's the carpet? Well, it's it's somewhere down tree. below, at like 10, 10 feet height below me. Okay. Um, and for my bonus action... I mean, she's already stuck to the ground. This is already most of the punishment I want to inflict on her, to be honest. Honestly, I'm just like gonna walk around as I'm going down. I would like to also like just like use like sort of 10 feet to get around to this side as I'm moving downwards. Basically. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. The end of your turn is her turn. To definitely saw you do that. The question is, how do I want to do this? Oh shit! Nah, <laughs> uh, nah, Vega. What's that? It's not that good. I could do that. That could be fun. But really, mm. 
<laughs> yeah, she's gonna cast a spell on herself. And it's her turn. And... Yeah, that's all she's gonna do. But she's gonna move like this, I guess. While staying within your range, Trigger. Right. Uh, Miller, it's your turn. Alright, I think you said last session, how high up is the canopy? A hundred feet. So it's just enough room for me to do my call lightning, or since it's technically enclosed, would you allow it? Oh, I mean, you can do it in buildings, if the buildings are tall enough, if I remember. Okay. So, uh, you take out your eye stone and call 991 lightning. <laughs> <laughs> And you hear the and phone. Uh, sorry, the darkness is out. Who do you want? Um, it's gonna be on her, and I'm gonna cast it at level five. Okay. Not even like a hundred feet. It's the way. Yeah. Yeah, like, so this spell doesn't say how tall the room is gonna be, just the M's call. It's gotta be tall enough to accommodate the cloud, and I'm gonna say this giant dome is definitely tall enough to accommodate it. Alright, um... Okay. Let's see. It's a dexterity thing, so she's very good at those, obviously. Oh, wow, that, that's actually a success. <laughs> Sometimes I surprise <laughs> myself. So it was should have been 33, but instead of 33, it's 16 points of lightning damage. Um, not that much, really. Right? It's still, for then yeah, level five, I don't think it's that bad. It's not top, but not that bad. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of myself sometimes. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? I'll move back. Alright. Uh, at the end of your turn, she's gonna cast a spell on herself. And. Uh, Leos, it's your turn. You hear the sound oh, of fighting from action. the other side, but. Yeah. Yeah, same. Alright. Oh, this is. This is fun. This is really fun. Huh. Uh, okay, okay. At the end of the turn, uh, she's gonna. Yeah, she's gonna cast a spell on your dragon. And you bless as the spell. No. Wait, but it stays on the others? Nope. Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah, I can't dispel concentration. Oh, no idea. Uh, magic effect within range. Well, I'm gonna say that. Uh. Ow. This is. Yeah, that's a doozy. That's a doozy. You know what? I'm gonna solve this problem by not casting this spell magic on you. And <laughs> checking the rules later. By not casting this spell on you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna instead cast it on Zardos. Because that's much easier. Okay. Sorry, Zardos. Zardos, your blast goes away. <laughs> <laughs> that should work. Um, okay. Uh, also, Zardos, it's your turn. Round six. I cast Blast. <laughs> 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 sure. Then you remember you're a dirty vampire and you are unable of blessing anybody. Except a dragon sink with your lips. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh man. 
Alright, uh, let's see. I'm going to attempt. Alright, uh, it cast a spell on herself, so I've got that now. How does this look like? Uh... Hmm. I'm going to attempt uh, to cast the. Yeah. Hold. Oh well, next time. Oh boy, that's interesting. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Disadvantage. Okay. Oh boy, uh, that's a legend resistance. Because I rolled not just the one, but also a two. That's a really good one. Yeah. That's that's so cool. Alright. Uh. Okay. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, Trego, it's your turn. Cool. I will use uh, my bonus action. Use it for anything, actually. Uh, to drink. Another healing potion, but I don't feel she can do that much damage in one turn. So, I guess I'll just attack her a few more times. Uh, okay. I have bless. Thank God for bless. Thank, thank the oak. God for bless. Thank, thank the oak for bless. Yes. And uh, oh, so close to a crit. All right, now that definitely hits. Although once again, you notice that your metal is not doing all that much to her. Actually, no, mm. I'm being stupid. I should like this, and like this, and then uh, well, it was a twenty-two with bless, so eight. Come on. I can remember this. Uh, yeah, as you strike, every time you notice that as you bleed strikes, there's some new kind of barrier she has put on top of herself. So she now has a double layered barrier, and while you're doing something to it, you didn't reach her. Like, no damage at all? No damage to her body, basically. Wow. Giving yourself some pen. Uh, okay. Alright, and it's you want to do? I don't really have good use for my bonus action now that I can't shove. Um, uh, uh, good. I mean, I could change uh, Sun Warrior, but I'm pretty I'm pretty content with the spear for now. Turn it into dagger! <laughs> Should have yeah. gotten Polar Master as your feet. Yeah. Could use that bonus action for can't ch I can't change uh, somewhere to a pole arm. Uh, I can change it to a, pike, a spear is a pole arm. Yes. A pike what? is a pole arm. A lens is a pole arm. Read your feats, man. Alright, it's too late. Anything you're doing on this Yeah, turn? it's too late. All right. uh, no, that's okay. it. Alright, in that case, at the end of your turn, uh, she's gonna use her lair action to uh, smoke some, uh, to blow some smoke up Zardos' nose. Zardos, make me a wisdom saving throw. No advantages, because you're not a fucking half elf. I'm shaking with happiness about this. I am no longer shaking with happiness because it's just smoke. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, uh... I can beat things now! Ooh. Alice, what's up? Let me peek around this corner. I can see her, right? Yes. This counts, technically? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, like, go here anyway. She's gonna use her and held I... action to look at you. <laughs> Menacingly. I am going to point my staff downwards at her. And it's just gonna release a nice old... Cone of cold. Oh no! From it, 
at her. Oh no. Oh no. I rolled an 8 in there, so I get to roll an additional D8. I oh. wish Trego was charmed. We rolled 2. Because if Treg was charmed, she would have technically been his friend creature and would have been affected by the aura. By the aura, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's 43, half 21. Yes. Fuck. Oh boy. Alright. Did that damage her? Did I see if that damage uh, no. her? Then Demon gets her fucking shields. Oh. Feels bad. Wow. And it's Kelsey She's a better tank than I am. Um. Do I want to? Yes, that is a good question. <laughs> Although. No, I'll okay. just let it pick up. I'm getting back behind my fucking. Oh, my, my hidey hole so I don't lose my hero's feast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it is her turn. Uh, and she's gonna go back to the roots. And because she can, she's gonna use uh, Prideful Presence to do a loud roar. Uh, and I need Melora to make a Wisdom Saving Throw. Because you are not within Trigger's aura, and you uh, are no longer immune to fright. But you are Milora. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and after that she's gonna bite your husband. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Alright, so... Uh... Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Natural 20 on the bite attack, and you're no longer immune to poison. Alright. So, as she opens her mouth, you see the same kind of barrier surrounding her fangs. And as she sinks them into your armor, you feel them go through it and sink deep into your body. As you take... <gasps> As you take 29 points of piercing damage. Actually, I'm gonna start adding because I'm pretty sure you're losing your concentration. Plus 3 points of poison damage. And then you feel the better surrounding her fangs vibrate violently. As you take 27 more halved to 13 points of force damage. For a total of 45 points of damage, so your DC is... 22. 22. Got it. Fuck. <laughs> Take the damage though. I did, I did. I already right. subtracted. Alright, and then she goes at you with a claw. Uh, 25. That hits. I'm next ne not next to Melora, but I could parry. Do you? Yeah. Right? Because I have 23, I parry, I get 26. Yeah. I mean, She's I'm just saying... Yeah. It depends on what yeah, yeah. has the plans for the rest of the day. We have the rest of the day? No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm parrying. Uh, I don't think you do, so... Do you parry? Yes, I do. Alright. And then she goes at you with a second claw. For another 25. Which oh, you cannot parry. Right. So you take uh, 26 uh, points of slashing damage from the claws. And uh, 15 half to 7 uh, force damage. So 33 DC 16 contract. Oh, there it goes. I do have bless, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, your bless goes away. So, Leo's your bless goes yeah. away, and uh, your concentration goes away, and your hit points goes away. <laughs> Alright. Uh, as she slowly growls under her breath, 
If I've got to do it, I have to do it myself. And that's the end of her turn. Uh, but she's got her legendary actions back, which is really nice. Because, Milora, it's your turn. I don't think I can get in range of him to throw off something. Oh shoot, I don't even see him. Rega? Nope. He's yeah. behind the tree. Okay, um, since I can't see him, say I'll cast Call Lightning again. Uh, I mean, you don't cast it, you use the same one? I yeah. Alright, so... Do I use the same damage, right? No, no, no. Uh, no, reroll it. I believe you are supposed to reroll it. Oh, well, that's a fail for her. So... Now that damage is pitiful. That's 29 points of damage. Now, drag that, you see, strike her body. Alright. And, and she looked fine, though, right? Like, she's not bleeding or anything. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like scorch marks and scratch marks, but nothing substantial. Let's put it that way. All right, anything else you want to do, Jesse? No, because right. I can't I see, um, I can't see Trigo to heal him, so. Good. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, she's going to use her legendary action to tail Trigo. Uh, 32 to hit. That hits. <laughs> 8, 8, 8. Uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage. And 9 half to 4 points of force damage, so a total of 28. Uh, and Leos, it's your turn. You are quite lonely in your cage, and as I can see, not listening to me very much. Leos! Lucas? Um, gonna use my action to change shape, t try to turn into a very tiny spider and see if I can walk out of this shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, you turn into a tiny spider and walk, I guess. What's the speed of a spider? Like 10, 15 feet, I guess? 20, I think. I have no uh, idea. That's not a tiny spider. Well, let's put it that way. Uh, you have enough speed to get uh, to the edge of the cage. And as you try to move between the bars, you find yourself unable to move into that opening, despite your size seemingly being able to allow you to do so. And yet, you can't. And that's what you think about the dragon, I assume, at this point. See, I told you guys that it wouldn't work. Yeah, my turn is done. Right. Mm. Then the return, she's gonna uh, nail Trigger one more time. Uh, 31. Mm -hmm. 18 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. And again, 9 half to 4 points of force damage. I'm at single digits. And round number seven, top of initiative, Zardas. Oh, and away. Yes, goes away. Okay, I will. Uh, this gets you within range with her. I actually like move 
technically like 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 no fuck. Uh five feet to the left. That's technically. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And Cassandra? Uh now that's it. Alright. Uh and the John, she's gonna use her legendary action to hopefully defeat Rego. Twenty-four. I don't have my reaction that hits. So eighteen plus some force damage, plus nine force um, damage. I'm out. Right. But I pop back up to one. Okay. That's that for the day. Uh, and try to your turn. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm just. Taking off the Undying Sentinel uh, point. Okay. I am going to use. I mean, this is my hometown. Uh, my armor thingy to do a tree stride. So I use 10 feet of my movement to step into this tree. Okay. And. I want to, like. Get out of her line of sight, get out like really far away and uh So which tree, this tree are you? seems to be Oh yeah sure. Okay. Is this uh, right direction okay. or what it? No, it's uh I'll copy paste it, but I need to use only ten feet of my movement. I'm just surprised you didn't hit her before you did that. Oh well no, I need to heal up. Okay. Um, and I will use my uh, action. Should I use the hands? Yes. Hmm. Artist, get to get all those markers on yourself. I'm gonna use. I am catching them all. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to use a bonus action to drink the um, right. superior healing. And your action? And my action to uh, lay on hands for... All right, you do another, that. Another 40 uh, hit yeah, you do that while I do that. I'm going to move to later action. And I would like Zardos as the only person uh, within close proximity to make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, I do want to move, though. Sure. I mean, are you gonna be doing anything to my dragon? Oh no no! <laughs> oh come on! Nice thing. Since you've got your stupid proficiency, you've been rolling too good. <laughs> All right, uh, Alice, it's your turn. I first saw the dragon flail around inside its cage, and then I saw it turn into a spider that yes. is still stuck. Yes. I am. You don't see the to... cage, by the way, but. Yeah. yeah, but I see it struggling with something. Yeah, sure. I am going to run down this street 30 feet till I'm 20 feet down. Okay. And then I would like to try and misty step to right behind where I saw the spider turn to. Okay. So like, I don't know, I imagine the spider to be like here or something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, make me a charisma saving throw. Do I need to make one to get in? I guess not. Motherfucker, that's so no search. You are in the cage? Next to. And I would like to point my hand down and reach for the spider, and as I sort of like have a finger up next to the spider. Spider dragon. <laughs> spider dragon. I. I this is a risky business shit. I am going to try and dimension door the both of us like uh, over here someplace. Alright. So now, uh, gonna... now you're making a case saying no. I know, I know. 
I mean, it is my best save, but can still easily fail. That's just a 17. That's a fail. You expand the spell, the door forms, and then <laughs> before it gets you through. One second. Oh, that was the wrong way around. Uh, three rounds, no sorcery points. Oh, that's not close enough, I think. No, it is not. Close enough. All right, anything else? No, why did I waste my turn on this shit? All right, I mean, it was a g good idea, better than what I expected it... you would have had to do, so... No, I would just wish hell had stayed close, but... Well, sure. All right. You went to the bottom half of the dragon. I intendedly put half of his body in it. The dragon was like half body oh. inside. He was like this. Okay. I can't go. I can't move anymore. I can only get to where the spider is, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, all right. It I is the sister's move. turn, and considering she has nobody entertaining her, aside from uh, Zados, who has refused to be charmed by her wonderful, wonderful uh, looks, she shall turn towards you and. Um, And, and, yeah, and bite you, <laughs> bite this, uh, 32. Eesh, yeah. It is, however, only 12 points of damage, of bite damage, of piercing damage, uh, and let's calculate this, because it's 12 piercing, plus 19 force, plus 13 poison. No poison. Oh, you have Hero's Fist? Okay. Yep. So, 31 point of damage. And make me a concentration check. DC 15. Alright, that's 15. And then double claw. Uh, 33 on the first claw. For... Uh -huh. For 23 slashing and 22 force damage. Wow. Jesus. That's, that's Shadow Blade level of damage. Um, yeah, that damage again? So a total of 45, so DC 22. Mm. And I don't believe you have advantage. Warcaster. Oh, right, Warcaster. Right. Who here does not have Warcaster? Traeger? And for some reasons that does make me happy. Come on. Alright, and her second claw. Uh, 28 to hit. For yep. 17 plus 14. So uh, 31 and now the DC 15. Yeah, she turns around and uh, your bravery turns to caution as without Trag's protection, your flesh has been quite... Well, at this point with her last strike is actually being torn apart. Uh, but that is the end of her turn and that is Milora's turn. Right, seeing how her trigger looks, she's gonna cast heal on him. Alright. And I'm gonna do it at level 7. Alright. So he automatically gets 80 points. Eighty or seventy? It's eighty. I never set this one up for uh, um, it's fine, it's easy for... enough. It doesn't need to be rolled, yeah. so yeah, eighty. Uh alright. And unfortunately it doesn't do anything else because I isn't Trigo poisoned or no? Uh, no. no. Okay. You'd have to make a medicine check to find out. <laughs> um, well, he isn't anymore. Well, after yeah, most heal. likely. After heal, he is, yeah, it removes a lot of crap. Anything else you're doing? Nope. Nope. Alright. In that case, end of your turn, the dragon uh, does a 360 as she does a nice... Centrifugal force assisted tail slap at Zardos uh, with 28 to hit for Yeesh. 18 bludgeoning and 10 force damage. So 28 DC 14. 28 total? Yes. Because you have nothing to resist this. Uh, 
DC 14, one check. Alright. And uh, Leos, it's your turn. I will use my oh. reaction to just to do a little damage to him. Oh, uh, what is it called? Uh, did you think thingy? I don't know if Lucas back. You're doing the. what is it called? Yeah, the Hellish Rebuke. Hellish Rebuke, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, what did you see for it for you? It's your charisma, I think. 14. Yes. Yeah, she saves. Uh, and. Uh, I don't believe you cast it at that high level. It counts as a second level spell. Does it's it do that ritual. much damage at second level? It's 2d10 it at first level and 3d10 at second level. So, that, yeah. so it's only... only Three 6. Damn. You have for some reason set it up as much higher. So yeah. You barely <laughs> see the fire scorch for scales. Yeah. Alright. Um, in that case... Uh, did he say where he go? Where he went? No, I just wrote be right back. Alright, well... Uh, I'm here. Yeah, oh, it's here. your turn. Uh, Aris is next to you in the cage. <laughs> he tried to get you out and failed. He's in the cage? Yes, he's I right next in. to you. I'll do nothing. With his... I'm gonna hold... Not I'm gonna hold my action to transform back into a dragon. Oh, that's a good idea. When yeah. I'm out of the cage. <laughs> I guess like, at this point you're like, like holding... Him on your hand, so oh, yeah, sure. Uh, all right, uh, at the end of Leo's turn, a dragon is gonna strike uh, you, Zardus, one more time. Uh, hit me, baby, one more time. Uh, 20, 30 to hit, uh, 19 bludgeoning damage, and 16 force damage. So a total of 35 DC 17. I should have done this from the start! <laughs> Alright. Uh, but, Zardos, round 8, it is your turn. Okay, that hurts a lot. Yeah. Tell me about it. She's rolling insane on the I was, li I was like, oh, she can't do she 135 is. damage in one round. She did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, well, I mean, I always said that female dragons are stronger than male dragons. Very true. I can't get away from her. Oh, you can. Depends on... Certainly try. I mean, we should have like a misty step with dimension door somewhere. Yeah. You can change into a cloud and just fly away. It's not very fast. Resistant to stuff. That no way to avoid her fucking counter spell. Well, actually, yeah, okay. I'll shape change uh, isn't the spell. So. Shape, shape. Okay, I will cast a spell. Right. Uh, surprisingly, she does not counter spell. Oh right. Oh, well, technically, you don't know that in the character. Yeah. I so yeah, I will yeah, attempt to Yeah, that's the only thing I can do and hope it works. Just really hoping to hold on to these longer, but fuck. Oh, you do use it. Alright, where do you go? Oh, that's the corner of everybody who has retreated. Alright. <laughs> uh, okay, that's your action. Anything else? Like, second wind? Yes, yes, that's about right. to You do that, and let's switch to Traga, because I think you can handle second wind on your own. Traga, anything you're doing? Anything fun? Anything good? Anything cool? He, yes. Um, gonna go over here. With my movement. Uh, you can't, there's a cage there. Yeah. Uh, you go 25. Well, actually, because the bushes are difficult terrain, your movement stops you right okay, in front so of the cage. 
So you so are stopped okay, right so over wait, here. Wait, that's five movement? That's... Oh, that's wait, yeah. close to the cage. Yeah, no, no, I didn't... Yeah, I just wanted to move maybe like this. That makes sure. everyone in the aura, I think. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay, sure. Yeah, so I'm in the I'm in the bushes. Of love? Nice yes. Alright. Um... I would like to use my action to... Ah, oh, shit. Um, what's the difference between giant strength and potion of growth? Giant potion of growth gives you an additional d4 and you grow. Potion of uh, Strength gives you an additional plus one, two Strength mod. So plus one to hit, damage rolls, athletics. Mm, and the damage. The d4 is probably more damage. Um, no, you know what? No, I no. don't, tell okay, me. Fuck, fuck, the, fuck the potions, fuck the potions. I'm gonna use uh, my action to cast this. Uh, so that's concentration. Oh, come on. I don't think I have. No, there's no. Uh... Well, it's just concentration. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will use. That's an action. And I'll use my bonus action to heal up uh, Zardos mm. for Fuck. 2d6. Which sucks. It's, I mean, it's great healing for him. Yeah. It's the only, it's one of the only kinds of healing I can give him. But it's for a minute, so I need to I need to start counting it. So that's nine now. Okay. Action, bonus action, movement. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Uh, end of the turn, uh, we're going to the lair action, and she is gonna do the Wall of Storms again. Uh, and I guess she is gonna... She is gonna... Do it like this. So we finally have vision? Yeah, one second. Goes away. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, and as she creates one over there, the original one uh, sinks into the ground. Um, and our decision. Give it another try. Um, first, let me check this here. It's a little too close for comfort, so I will make this one subtle. Alright. Uh, you know the deal. I know, yeah. I'm just subtracting stuff first. Um, With Trigger's aura, this is gonna be hard to lose. First, yeah, that's how it's so. Two foot first. This is round four. One sorcery point. That should be enough. Yeah, that should be. Wait, is it not? It is not. It was one point? Yep, it is not. Oh, wow. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, let's roll the charisma save. Yes. Yeah. Alright. And I would like to teleport the both of us like um Stay in aura. Up here someplace. Oh come on. <laughs> okay. Alright, you do that. And uh Leos has held his action so he can yeah. transform back into so dragon form. He goes Do I have to make a, a charisma save as well? Uh I don't uh, I mean it's not him that's teleporting. But it's a good question. Now you don't. You're not trying to use teleportation. Second. I'm pretty sure it's going to be somewhere. 
That's a good question. Somebody assault him. I don't... have you found a sage device? Have you? No, I can't find one. Yeah, same. Alright, not to waste any more time, and considering the level of the spell, I'm gonna say yes, you need to make a Charisma Saving Throw. Alright, let me look up the step block of mouth. Because you are using oh, this magic to leave the cage off, trying to use it. Wait, you don't keep your, uh, your dragon Charisma save? Nope. You don't? Oh, you are a dragon, so it's plus 10. Yeah, because it's dragon. And so plus 16. Plus 16. Um, I do keep my intelligence with some charisma scores as well as this action. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Drupal Morph turns you into a real dragon, like no bots and ifs. Oh, you mean if you... Yeah, you're a spider, you're not a dragon. That's what you're talking about. Uh, In its new form, uh, the dragon retains its alignment hit points, hit dice, ability to speak, proficiencies, legendary resistance, lair actions... I think you I mean, have your legend, plus legendary four... Legendary resistance, you can just uh, auto-succeed if you want. Also true. It doesn't work. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. use the legendary. Yeah, resistance. yeah, let's go with that. Wait, right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. otherwise it would have failed. Okay, yeah, then resistance, you're out. <laughs> yeah, in that case, yeah, you appear there and poof into a giant dragon right next to Ardis, uh, which looks a lot scarier than it sounds. Uh, but there you are. That was uh, Ardis, your action. Any skills you under? Um. Ankor, Atvain. Ankor! Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move backwards with my movement. Um, am I No, that's not in five, ten... Alright, as you do that, you do reach her attack of Burnt Unit Rage. Range. Really? Yes. Oh, is. Yes. Where, where did her body stop here? Uh, where the markers are. Oh, that's super high up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. So, um, she's gonna go for you with a bite. I just and yep. that's gonna be 27 to hit. Yep. You do have anti poison, so forget that. Yep. But it's 21 uh, piercing damage and <laughs> 4 force damage. Okay. So 25. I. I, I should. I mean, it's still better to. 12 to see. Um, I'm not sure if you can fail that even. I can, of course. I, but I have advantage. Right. I need to and, yeah, continue doing whatever you want to do. 
Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna oh, yeah, keep moving is. and um, be drinking a potion, but you can move on. All right. Um, you do that. In that case, at the end of your turn, as uh, actually, like, do your final movement space because otherwise she might hit you again. Because at the end of your turn, she's gonna use her legendary action to. I, I have. And is it the end of your movement? I can't go any further. That's All right. The third, yeah, I have. Uh, yeah. Well, you are out of her range, uh, thankfully for you. So she is gonna try and slap uh, Leos uh, with her tail. Uh, that's gonna be a 34 to hit, uh, 16 bludgeoning, uh -huh. and 20 force damage. Wow. Yeah, that, that's it's so swingy. All right. So yeah, a total of 36 damage, and it's her turn now. Uh, she's gonna trudge towards you. That's 10 feet of movement. And Typical then... Terrain too. Uh, right. The plants? Not. No, 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 no. That's her plants. No? She doesn't care about them. Okay. Uh, how much do I have there? 15. She's gonna start squeezing between uh, you and the trees. So she's gonna move five, ten feet more to get in range with Arliss and bite at him. Uh, 27? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, 16 plus 18. The meantime, Leo. Um... Uh, 17, DC. Uh, DC 17, she is no longer bound to the ground. Alright, well, she has already spent her movement speed, so it doesn't matter right now, uh, but uh, she... five ten. 10, uh, you are not within her claw range, so claws go towards uh, Lyrus. Uh, 22. Yeah. For 26 plus 14. So 40. Mm -hmm. And the natural 20. Mm -hmm. So let's go um, 17 points of force damage. And 23 plus 16. 39 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. That's the end of her turn. And Milora, it's your turn. Uh, by the way, do you have your camera intentionally blacked out? Yeah, I'm eating. All right. Uh, Milora? All right. Um, I'll just keep doing call lightning on her. All right. Uh, save for me. All your damage, she fails because dragons are big. I should not uh, have said anything. <laughs> oh, that is, yeah. Nine. All right. A, yeah, she takes good. that fully because, yeah. Uh, anything else? Um, I don't think I can move to get out of line of sight from her from anywhere. I'll uh, just back away a bit, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, oh, right. Uh, wait a moment. It was 29, so 14. Oh, I can't. Alright, um, in that case, end of your turn. Tail at Arles, because Tail has long range. Uh, 26. Mm -hmm. 17 uh, plus 7. Uh, do whatever necessary, Leo, it's your turn. Um, I'm gonna attack her. Offer it. 33, 23, 23. Uh, yeah, they all hit. And okay. as you hit... Oh, can I, can I like... No, no, you are already oh. adjacent to her. Yeah. But he can also squeeze into the room between us. If she uh, can squeeze in there and, and technically uh, take up a part, she can't. Then he should be able to squeeze in between. Can us. he be above you? 
I mean, he probably... Because, like, right it. now, nobody spaces are interlapping. The only way I he can know. squeeze is he needs to move you out of range. And I don't think you can... You can move through your allies. I don't believe you can remain no, in their can't space. No, you technically remain on them. Yeah. So, and, like, she can't go yes. further. She is now stuck between uh, Leos and the big tree. So she's just lashing at you through the gap, basically, with whatever she can use to reach you. Oh, well, anyway, yeah. then I'm done. But you have drawn blood. This is the first time mm -hmm. you've done this to her. Well, anyone has done this to her. But at the end of your turn, she's gonna tail it Alice one more time. Because he's mm -hmm. fucking annoying. That's a natural 20. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 bludgeoning. And 20 force damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, top of the round, round 9. Uh, Azalus. Uh, let's try a new game here. Uh, fuck this fight. Okay, and what now? Um, I will... We'll get Arliss out of there. Uh, this... I'm just gonna do this to make her body show properly. You should... Oh wait, you can't see it. Like this. Let me make it darker. Okay, yeah, that helps. Yeah, like this. You should be able to see like the proper size. Get all the sellers. Think about that. Let's see the seconds. Be right back. Damage. We need Damage. To her up quickly, yes. All right. See, I gotta hopefully drop her concentration on this shit. It's really hard. Yeah, I know. So when is her actual turn? Which is your... Um, it's usually between me and Trego, I think. Or no, that was the brother. I think she mm. is between me and... Me and you. Yeah, I think she goes after me. So it's not... It's Yeah, it's you, then it's Trego, then it's me, then it's her. But she's gonna give me the tail a couple more... One more time at least. Yeah, most likely. Unless I take I can heal you up on my turn a bit. Alright, what's happening? Alright, I am going to Misty step over to her. Okay. That's your bonus action. And? And... Give her the attention she wants. Alright, with Thirst, I assume. Yeah, I'll get right to that. Uh, how do you get Shadow Blade? It's somewhere on the ground. I'm pretty sure it takes a bonus action to summon it. I had a, bo had a turn where I didn't do anything to move. Did you mention picking up Shadow Blade? Uh, 
right. Change of plan? You can technically move through Leos with the same 15 feet. Without missing steps. Yeah, but it took all my movement just to get here. Uh, true. But... You can use your bonus action to summon the sh uh, Shadow Sword back into your hand, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, but he used it to miss his step. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, if I can't Shadow Blade, then I point Misty Step in. At least not there. I mean, you can walk up and first slap her with all the smites you have. <laughs> Come on! It's your main blade! You haven't even used one of its abilities that I gave you just recently. I'm like, I'm gonna give him this ability to make the blade almost as good as Shadow Blades. No, he's not gonna it use it. takes an action is to do that, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I don't remember. I mean, it's your fault for not doing it earlier. Isn't like concentration? It's like a it's spell, isn't definitely it? definitely not concentration. But, uh, uh, I mean... Oh, no, it's a bonus action. See? I am a generous damn! <laughs> Look what he has. He hasn't used it even once. This was low on, low on points till just now, till I killed yeah. the brother. But yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, What's your serious like? Really... Plus seventeen to hit, plus twenty. It's up there. And if you drop your All bow, right. you can hold it with two hands. Not right, sure. I'm still missy step over here, and yeah, the thirst have a taste. Why not? I'm juggling uh, like two weapon fighting, bow wielding monk in Lucas's game, so I know the drop weapons rule very well. <laughs> All right, yeah. So you said you missed a step. Yes. And totally you is. draw thirst as you do so. Uh, do you drop the bow or do you keep it? Let's drop it. All right. So you hold thirst with two hands. Yep you aren't really used to doing. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, so it's 1d10 instead of 1d8. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, 18 to hit is not enough. Your minimum roll with Thirst is 17. And considering Nature 1 is always a miss, like anybody in plate armor, you just hit them. <laughs> Alright, 34 is a hit, that's 15 points of piercing damage, which is completely uh, dealt to her, unless you want to add something on top. Uh, didn't mean that second double that yeah uh so 18 points of necrotic damage on top uh, don't forget yes. to re remove the points that yeah. required for this all right yeah. you punch the hole in her skin and you see the black tendrils of death magic spread through her veins causing her immeasurable pain as you strike again with thirst that's definitely hits uh Leave it on there once. Yeah, once per turn. Once? Okay. Oh. I remove the points. You're not at 40. Mm -hmm. What? Seven? Seven. Yeah. Alright, uh, that's three attacks. Uh, that's a bonus action. I don't believe you have another action search. So, what now? I will stand here and cry. 
All right, as you do that, <laughs> uh, she snarls at you, uh, but uses her legendary action to uh, do one more tail strike at Arliss, because you've already done all you could to her. While Arliss, he's the one who makes me cry. I want to cry. Oh, wow. Uh, that's 32 to hit. Yeah, uh, that barely hits. Uh, 24 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And 12 force damage. Uh, but now it's her lair action, and she's gonna... She's actually gonna try and charm Leos. So, Leos, make me a wisdom saying throw with a dragon. Sure. Well... Mm, you're charmed. Legendary resistance? As you want a legendary resistance. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Alright. So that's your second one. Uh, yep. bum, 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 bum. And Arliss, it's your turn. I don't know why she's afraid of me when she Wait, has what? legendary resistances left over, but shouldn't Trego go before me? Yeah. Oh, right. Trego. Sorry. 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 Yes. Trego. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, can I move Plus, here? Quick question. No. Does the... Would the 18 actually save without legendary resistance? 18, uh, 18 might save, yeah. Because uh, Trego goes before. Yeah, yeah. All right. Layer well, okay, action. yeah. Let's uh, let's put a lead on that uh, wisdom saving throw, uh, Trego. Uh, the body of the giant dragon will count as, let's say, difficult terrain. So I can move up to here. Uh, with your normal movement, yes. Okay, uh, I'll do that. Okay, and I, I will. Uh, still difficult terrain, so that's 10, 15, 20. Yeah, okay, I'll take the dash action. Okay. And I will use my bonus action to heal Alice for 2d6. Okay. Uh, in that case, lair action, she does the same thing. Uh, Leo saves without any resistances. And we move to Arvis. I'm not sure why she's afraid, but whatever. Um... She's not afraid, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, you know, like, anytime I have a plan, you're the one who spoils it. <laughs> I need to get the fuck away from her. Um, what's the cheaper way around it? I think it is cheaper to use my action to disengage and run back 30 feet. Or like over here. Huh? Sentinel! Uh, uh... Ah, well, if she has that, then I'm no. just gonna get fucking dunked on. <laughs> Well, as you um, learn at the end of your movement, no, she doesn't. That's very nice. And I'm going to look on over to her, and... I mean, she still has saves. I, don't I wish it wasn't a green dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be fucking... <laughs> what was I thinking, making green dragons the big bad guys? What was I thinking? And I am going to... How far out of range am I? Depends on what you're using. I'm going to quicken, uh, quicken subtle synaptic, synaptic static. Okay. Jesus Christ, these damage rolls. Do you have any sorcery points left after that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have plenty left. Thank you. This is gonna cost me three. Oof. Um, what's her natural roll? Ten. I mean, she's gonna use her legendary resistance, I guess, so yeah. um, I'm gonna use my Tides of Chaos here. Around five, three sorcery points. <laughs> I don't think there's a way. That's a surge. Okay, option one. Alright. You sure? It's a risky yes. move. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
She uh, she used her legendary resistance, right? Yes. Okay, good. I'm done. Uh, it is her turn. <sighs> She's gonna. Take flight. She need, she squeezed in there first. Yeah, she needs to yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck out of yeah, there that's first. what I'm talking about. I mean, cherry trees are not very high; they're like 15 foot tall. So she needs to like spend 20 feet of movement to get out of there and use others to get an attack of opportunity. Wouldn't it be 30? Yes. 15 feet high. Wouldn't the top of the crown? She needs to get past the trunk. The, like, would I? Narrow branch would I get one as well? Uh, not yet. Uh, uh, she's still within your reach. Okay. Like you, you, you really have a reach of ten feet minimum. Oh, I said. Uh, 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 sorry, I thought you said twenty feet up. Yeah, but she's still within your reach. Uh, not for a bite attack. That's Aren't fifteen like 20 feet. Twenty feet range. tall. Oh yeah, yeah. No, sorry, no. I didn't uh... consider my size. You, however, do hurt her. Oh, nice booming blade. You can I do this see. reaction, right? Yep. Oh, that's a really fucking... Can you do booming blade in a reaction? Yes. Yeah. Yes, with, spell, uh, with Warcaster you can. Oh, yes. Warcaster, right. Fucking Warcaster! <laughs> a lot of damage! Nice! Alright, sure. Sure. It's all about damage. She takes that. 30, and can I still... Can I do the, uh, the, the smite on top of this, too? Uh, once per turn, it's not your turn. Yeah, you can. Alright. Casual 55. Yeah. Uh, she's looking super bad, but carefully without leaving your uh, Leos' uh, range. Uh, she's gonna plop over there. In front of Arliss, the red in her eyes, which is her blood, well, and it. she's well, gonna swipe at you with her claws. You have enough AC. You're good. You're fine. Yeah, my AC is great. Uh, I thirty-three to, to hit. Huh? Thirty-three to yeah, hit. Yeah, barely hit. Uh, sixteen uh, plus one. seven. Look, it doesn't matter. Like the first one will knock me to zero. I get back up with one thanks to Death Ward. All right, I don't need to spend that on you now. Hmm? Uh, I do need to spend another claw on you now. <laughs> You're back to one hit point. She crits on you with her second claw. I am unconscious. Yeah. And Take then uh, she's yeah. gonna bite you unconscious to fail to the same thing. Yeah, I assume as much. Uh... And let's say. With this, because there's two death fails, like some internal injuries or something that would be appropriate for this. Uh. Yeah, let's call this internal injuries. That's the DC 15 to do anything, yeah. then, right? Oh, whenever you attempt an action. Uh, she didn't make enough, take enough damage to do a con save. Just out of curiosity. Oh yeah, save. like uh, that's oh, a right. 55 damage attack con save. Uh, 55. Uh, that's a good idea. I mean, it won't change the result because uh, she yep. doesn't need the force damage. But yeah, she might actually fail that. Yeah. Uh, one second. But uh, it, it might because like, it didn't doesn't uh, it give her advantage on all attacks. Uh, yes, yeah. but she'd still hit you with both of those okay. attacks. One second. Yep. Uh... I mean, with all three attacks, yeah. Yeah, alright. Uh, so, that's... Uh... Off. <laughs> that's a natural one. So, Oops, yeah. So, she beat you up with her natural claws, basically. Okay. Uh, 
you did have less than 16 hit points at first, right? Hmm? You did have less than 16 hit points. You yes, had like 11. Had 11. Yeah, yes, right. I had yeah. 11. in that case it's the same shit. Uh, all right, um, this puts us at uh, Melora's turn. Alrighty. I'd like to check something, and actually I can because I don't need this. But you keep going, I'm... I just... Do that. Pretty sure I changed at some point. Does the magical mm. healing restore my inner internal injury? That's the thing, I'm pretty sure at some point I said this is stupid, then again she just are pointless without that. You need to get a long rest on top of that. Sure. Do we all get it? Because otherwise there's, this rule is pointless, because that's what immediately happens when you get an injury, you get back up with a healing ward. Or muscular wounds, which you do right now. I mean, unless you don't have any of that, then you need to take short rests and stuff, but yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Alright, so Milor, that's your action. Anything else you want to do? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, as you do that... Yeah, it's too late, never mind. Yeah. Um, as you do that, she's gonna just snarl once again and attempt to batter you into the ground uh, with her normal tail. With advantage. Uh, with advantage. Uh, uh, 30 to hit. Yeah. 16 points of damage. <laughs> I'm unconscious. Uh, Leos, it's your turn. Uh, one sec. Uh, He's looking yeah. really badly beaten up. Okay, let's After what go the safe different. route. I'm gonna attack her three times. Do you think that's a safe route? Yeah. Uh, fuck. 16 miss. misses. 25 to hit. That hits. That miss. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm done. Alright. Uh, end of your turn. I guess what? Another tail. That's 29 to hit. Yep, I have two failed death saves. I'm gonna close it broken ribs. Doesn't change anything, but... Uh, Alright. And top of initiative, new round, round nine. Zardas, it's your turn. Wait, uh... Alright, I will... Sure, use five points to activate this ability. Alright. I mean, you could... Now you have your bonus action to summon Shadow, if you don't want to spend the points, although... Uh, up to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Isn't that a bonus either way? Uh, yeah. True, it just uh, Shadow does more damage, but Thirst does it a lot more consistently. Uh, it take two. Alright, so bonus action. So, what does it look like? Uh, yeah, basically the thing the blood blood oozes out of the blade and makes it look thicker and has a has look more like a bigger extra big extra serrated along its edges <laughs> all right go for it uh, you don't need to move five feet forward but yeah Do it. Do it. Do it. 
that's a hit. 17. Get it already. He uh, smites and whatnot. Yes. It should not be. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, technically not to the ten. One less it's, Yeah, it's. Uh, so I'm gonna give him one, one, one back. No matter. All right. Yeah, that's another mighty wound. As you feel her breath become harder and harder. Oh no, the Hemo Blade that said has another weapon dice. Does it? Okay, sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Well done. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hemo Blade that drops the... Uh, no, Hemo Blade deals an extra 1d8 slashing damage. Whatever. Okay, 1d8, yeah. I mean, yeah, I intended it to be a blade yeah. die, you just don't ever use it as two, as two handers, so whatever. Uh, keep rolling. Are you attacking her? Uh, yes. Because with my internet, I have no idea if you have rolled or not. <laughs> 22. How do you want to do this? Yeah, just keep hacking away at her. Well, she's facing Arliss again, so yeah. Yeah. To her rear again. <laughs> oh, you no. slash at her this rear. with an actual blade. Each strike of your blade leaving large gushing torn wounds in her hide as she just collapses from blood loss and breathes her last would you like to kiss her sphincter yes <laughs> all right you do that without any issues uh, so that's another blood token that's for sure and as you kill her uh, let me check the rules just to be safe. Uh, you dealt the finishing blow, uh, blow, so you gain 26 essence for her. She was stronger than her brother. Nice. Which I think fills you up again, up to full. Yes. Nice. All right. Okay. All right. My turn? Uh, yes, it is your turn. I would like to use a uh, bonus action to heal Arliss up. Alright, you calculate how many turns you have and spread that healing right. uh, however much you want. You definitely have enough time to save uh, Arliss from any un unnecessary expenses. However, as well as this fight has started, with you taking apart her brother in mere 24 seconds, she proved to be a much harder opponent than Perhaps even I expected. And you are indeed bruised, better and rather tired, I'd say, at the end of the battle. Nonetheless, it's been a minute since the fight has begun. Which means that the Mother of Dragons has been chilling somewhere for at least a minute. As a matter of fact, I try to sure you do your healing to get Aris up. But I'd like to know what you guys will be doing right now. Do you take any rests? How many seconds? How Small many rounds? Potions. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay, let me finish. How many rounds you take? to do whatever you need here which means of transportation you're going to be using after that and where you're going to be going and consider that for the next 10 minutes i thought this fight is going to take a bit shorter so we didn't take a break in the middle but let's take it here consider your actions and we're going to back, come back in 10 minutes to figure out your uh, healing and your transportation
You want to sh me, uh, see me? And sour? we're back. Okay. Yes, I want you to see some broccoli. All right. So, uh, lady and gentlemen, the battle is over, but the time is short. And thus, you need to make some swift and crucial decisions. I pick up my bow. <laughs> I'm gonna. Well, Melora's gonna turn to Trago. Do you feel that? Yes, I do. While I, I guess I gave sixty. Oh wait, I need to roll again to split this between them. Uh, yeah, and I point at where the amber is. I guess it's that way. Uh, don't right? uh, hurry with rolling any healing. We're gonna figure out healing after the rounds pass, so that we don't. You know, time wise, okay. it's fine. Uh, anybody else doing anything immediately? Bow, talk, uh, Aris, uh, and... I'm gonna start swallowing potions like a fucking madman. Alright, you go doing that, you go do that, just mention any, uh... And I'm, like, getting up and, um, gesturing for everyone to start gathering around as I see the two of them. You also need to get your carpet back. Yeah, I'm also gonna, like, command Nidala to fly on over to me. Huh? I'm gonna use my action to turn into... Humanoid form, or no, I'm going to hold my action to turn into humanoid form. Are we teleporting or are we uh, transporting via plant? Yeah, Prego, what's up? What are you doing over there? Make it quick. I walk towards the... The... Uh, you, you, you watch as the two of yep. them the are peering uh, through that root arch that uh, through which a uh, of Dragons has previously entered. And let's they follow them. Are let's follow them. Just staring at that amber light that is glowing in the back of Mother of Dragon's seat or whatever she had inside. Right. So you quickly rush over in the direction, and as you walk under the roots, you are now within the great oak. You see the starry sky above you where the tree has shattered whenever the Mother of Dragons has appeared. And the earth is very loose and soft over here with the internals of the great oak have been chiseled out, uh, creating this almost like a basket for Mass of Dragons to rest in. You've seen that the um, skin fur of a uh, wolf and the remains of Tilk attached as trophies to her wall. And coming closer, you see that the um, throne of hers, basically, is adorned in carvings. Like, somebody has worked on this for a long time to depict dragons, uh, forests, leaves. This whole seat is a work of art. But right there in the back, you just have to climb that like, 20 foot um, not even 20, like, like 50 sure. foot uh, uh, edge of the uh, seat. There's that glowing amber light. Yeah, I'm going to help Melora climb up, I guess. I'll make me an aesthetic check. And Melora's doing Both of us are just him. I mean, if you're climbing, I don't know. Yeah, she oh, is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Melora, was it Melora, help me up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you do make your way upwards, it just takes longer than you wanted. It takes you a good fuck are you two minute to get, get up on it. And after that, you get on and you stand upon this seat, and coming closer, you see a large, like, head sized piece of amber that is embedded in the center of this carved mural in this glowing, gentle, yellow light. I, uh, I put my hand, like, almost touching it. I look at Melora. I follow suit with him. And then we put our, like, our hands together on it, I guess. I'm just sitting down, resting. Um... I don't know how much time this has taken. 
your bonus action healing has all gone through, so you're welcome to deal with that eventually. Yeah. Um, as you put your hands against it, it feels warm and like the smell and light of the great oak seems to fill you. Make me an um, arcana on nature or religion check. Both of you. Choose whichever you want. Uh, Lucas, did you want to say arcana, something? Arcana, nature, or religion? Yeah, yeah. All or zero? <laughs> Lucas, did you want to say Not something? Not in nature. No. I'll go with nature. <laughs> Tricky. You feel like this has some connection to the Great Dog. Melora, you... The feeling is extremely reminiscent of the last time you and Traga visited the Great Oak when you were inside of it and when he gave you those visions. When you had that conversation, when he touched you and gave you Twiglion. Uh, and your mind races through all that you have experienced in the past months and you go, right, of course, just because she shattered him doesn't mean she killed him. You can't kill a god. This must be the remaining divine spark of the great orc. And then you think, we could use this. Me and Trega, and I guess Trega's elk friend are connected to him. We could use it. And you look at your stuff, and then the gem. And I feel like your stuff just hasn't grown yet. And if it would continue to grow, why yes, it would make quite a nice housing for some gem. But if you do that, as helpful as it could be in your fight against the mother, it does mean that however long it would take the Great Oak to restore, it would take much longer. That's what you figured out. So the way I understand it, I would have to give up my staff, essentially, to help him grow. Uh, no. Um, your options are basically you, Trigger, or Elk, I guess, can use this power to empower yourself, like you can empower your staff. Uh, but if you use this power, it means that the time it would take the Great Oak to be reborn will be longer. Because you will be using a lot of his power to help you instead of concentrating on having Great Oak grow again. But I mean, I if you don't defeat the dragon, up to you. I we get it on with? You two, move it. I explain this to Trigo. So... Do you want to use it? Yeah, take it. Go. <sighs> if you don't take it immediately, I will set this tree on fucking fire. We need to leave. They are waiting for us. I hold uh, fire breath. I call. Okay. I, all right. All right. We'll take it with I, us. I climb back down with the gem. I, I'm assuming it's really like heavy, right? It's like a head size. It gem. is heavy. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Everyone come close. As they come close, I will uh, I will re uh, recede the breath, and I will say, if this costs us the victory, I will kill you, Trego. And let's go, and I'm teleporting. Hey, but my, I agreed to do it, too. Don't punish just him. Hey, I only had uh, that one second to say who I'm going hey, to kill. Hey, you're going to kill yourself. She doesn't need to bother with that. All of us. All right. Okay, uh, gonna, where are you killing. teleporting, all of you? I thought about this, because... I mean, if she knows the traitor, 
and she probably feels the traitor the strongest. So Lady Kazar's house is probably also where she's at, mm. very likely. I mean, um, Lady Kazar didn't like it didn't seem like Lady Kazar was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna stay in my house and cast magic in my house. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Fair enough. And it is for me, it's the safest place to go. Not in her house, but like just straight outside is a place we've spent a lot of because inside is protected. I don't. Want um, to I, I mean, stone. basically, like well, well, the thing is, if you're teleporting. Uh, yeah, if you go into her basement, then that's a guaranteed teleport, but... Uh... Yeah, but the risk is too high of the, sure. no one being around to let us out. Oh. So I will just choose, like, somewhere right in front of the mansion. All right, all right, yeah, in that case, is possible, uh, do roll And that is what we're going to try to do. Also where a dragon fits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lady Kazar is wealthy, she has a big garden. Uh, do you want to roll? Uh, I would like to, and it's uh, or it doesn't it say roll. DM. I don't mind. Whatever. Yeah, DM rolls uh, the hundred. Uh, yeah, you roll. Uh, I would say this is very, very familiar. familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh no! What did you roll? Oh, okay. Oh, back in. Not that bad. Uh, Turtle. Uh, figure out the healing place. I mean, I'm gonna. I gave the uh, healing afterwards. I think I give uh, 19 yeah, Tarlas, 26 to Zardus. Okay. Oh. Uh... Can meanwhile Arlis maybe feed me one of my potions? I mean, yes. you had at least two minutes while they were talking, uh, Dragon Melora, yes. so... I don't know why we did that, but yeah. Yeah, you could drink as many potions as you want in two minutes. I'm going to um, be drinking basically all our supply, and I'm going to feed you whatever yeah, you want. Yeah. Uh, Can I also drink? I'll take what uh, was originally supposed to be given to me, so a potion of supreme healing right. and a potion yeah. of supreme You can figure healing. out yeah. healing later, and as well as like any buff potions, because some of them like last long enough that you might want to use them. But yeah. just, yeah. Just write to me later how you need. All right, uh, let's see. Um... <sighs> how nasty did you roll? Not nicely at all. Oh no! Answer. How far off are we? <laughs> Please don't be similar area or off target. Oh god! Man, Jesus man, Christ! Wall below the twenty four. How do you do that? <laughs> How many mishaps are you rolling? <laughs> Am I gonna be unconscious after this? Maybe. <laughs> wait a moment. No, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, I did that already. Okay. Um, so, um, all right, that's good. Otherwise, it would have been really embarrassing. I hate this. Bro. All right. Uh, why didn't Why didn't we tree strike? Tree strike. Yeah. Uh, no, transport via plants. Ah, fuck it. Good question. All right, interesting. Our list is too impatient. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> All right. You feel that yank within your stomach, and as the Space around you attempts to reappear, you feel another yank as your bodies are distorted and you feel the pain of each of you taking uh, 14 points of force damage. Oh. Well, 7 technically, I guess, because it's still spell damage. Oh, nice. Uh, and then you appear in complete darkness and you go, like, where the fuck are we? Before you start falling. And before you can say, oh fuck, all of you plunge into the actually fairly warm waters. Oh, you have 
Oh fucking head, yeah, we're oh. Minota! Okay. Um, uh, everyone's still around Actually, around, right? I'm just going to well, yeah. teleport again. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. I mean, there I mean you no are close there. enough that you can do it just like this. I see everyone I have talked with. Yeah, yeah, so do. I'm just casting it again. Same target. Please don't roll the lower sure? four again. Thank you. Not twice, at least. How did you manage? I, I didn't even roll it, so was the machine. Alright. Alright. Now you feel another yank and drenched, wet, soaking. You land in the grass and you go. Alright. Here's the mansion, there's a city wall, and oh my fucking god. The first thing you hear are the sounds of Nebo Sirens. And you, Trager, hear the recognizable. Um. Rounds of Nebo's automatic ballistas discharging. Into the dark sky, just hear that. <laughs> and you see a fairly good distance away, but so large that you can still see her a silhouette of an enormous dragon. As occasionally, you see gouts of flame that highlight green scales. And then you see at some point the, the flames sputter as you see the silhouette of a giant claw to smash something into the ground. Then you see the sky split once again as a brilliant blue beam of light. Just for a split seconds goes and strikes at the silhouette of the giant dragon, highlighting her again, a tiny flying ship on the other edge of that beam. Well, <laughs> the battle is definitely happening. No time. Do you guys want to rest a bit? Do you want to like chill? No fucking time. We are moving. Everyone on my back. Yep. I will change. If I'm mounting Leos, I will change Sun Warrior to Lens to Sun Lens. You can do this as a bonus action. Um, That's not a problem. I don't need to know which. Really uh, all right. So you said that. Uh, Jesse, you were saying? Yeah, she's going to say to Trego, Trego, give me the crystal. I give it to her. So you're trying to use it? Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I'll get back to you, Aris. Anything you're doing? Um, I'm gonna be looking at our potion supply right. during the week right. to figure out what I'm right. gonna be drinking. Right. Yeah, so like, as you're that. flying, you're like handing out whatever like final potions you need to hand out. Like the track and the lore who are kind of busy previously. Yeah, no problem. You're definitely gonna be flying long enough uh, for you to do all of that, because you're not getting there in like six seconds. Uh, Zardas, anything you wanna do? It's... Yep. Actually, it's not midnight, it's more like... 11... Like 10 by actually more like 20 because you did take a while to talk to Mato Dragon. So it's striking potions. So it's uh, still a uh, uh, dim light or what is it? Oh, it's complete. Well, yeah, I guess it's dim light. Uh, no, it's 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 darkness. It's complete darkness. Yeah. I did mention that there is no moon today. But didn't we like yeah, we there would be plenty of time for a lot of uh, dim light in between? No, fuck. Mm. Well, we oh. essentially talk like an hour to the mother of dragons. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say, wasn't it the waning crescent or something? Yeah, it's um, it's the thirty first of May. Okay. Uh, Either a waning or a waxing. I can't it's remember. It's a waxing crescent phase, yeah. So it's probably essentially it's as growing. effective as a cell phone light in a, in a dark forest. Illumination is thirty nine percent. So I can't envision that to be honest. I don't know what that <laughs> so it's like. Is. Let me show you how the moon looks. No fuck. How the moon looks and in, in this state, how the moon looks. Yes. Uh, sure. 
<laughs> I mean, you have seen a moon like that outside, me. and you know that usually with that moon it doesn't do any light. Like really, uh, un unless you're somewhere like where a moon is like closer, or like if the moon itself is currently closer to Earth, you need a lot more of the moon for it to do anything. Okay. That's why, like, you're basically like seeing the silhouette of the Mother of Dragons, but not much more. And to be fair, considering your dark vision, it's it's not like you're gonna be fighting at a bigger range. <laughs> no. All right. Um, so yeah, you keep flying. Uh, you're doing that. Uh, Zardos, anything you're doing? We're gonna get interrupted by the moon. Yeah, I'm just potions. Right. Uh, you also, if you Same. want to, you have time to cast any other buff spells you would like to do. Yeah. That take less than a minute. Potions, and you know, I think I think she's fine. We just plan to take a rest. It's fine. I. Uh, Arliss, do you want death ward again? No. No, he gets it. No. Arliss, how many times One have you time down, they keep pounding me. It doesn't make a difference. Shut the fuck up. No. Deathward did save you last time. If I die here, I die here, and that's fine. Finish it. Save I it slap him across the face while giving save him Deathward. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm gonna dispel this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you do that. Uh, Leos, anything you wanna do? You think you uh, can do how long does a potion of heroism last? An hour. An hour. So I'm gonna ask someone on my back to just throw I it will. into my face. I will. <laughs> All right, that's not the problem. Um, so I get ten temporary hit points. I need yeah, to like write that the down. potions you can figure out during the week. Uh, do yeah. just like give me later, yeah, like at least like Leos drank that 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 that. Harris drank that 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 that. All right, and I'm definitely going to drink um, this. So as you like take flight and rush through the city, streets abandoned, no lights in the city. Trigger, you assume that. Every single citizen must have been evacuated into the glittering halls, uh, into the areas that has been, you know, secured and protected. So, I mean, you might worry about collateral damage, but at least it's not going to be casualties. Uh, and uh, you rush towards the city wall of Nebu, which itself is going to take you quite a while. And as you do, you see like the reflection on the moon on the surface of a gargantuan humanoid figure just kneeling in front of the gate and you see and hear the voice of um, Boris Lav Svorov calling at you from like a platform on the shoulder of the figure like hey Talons here here and that's where we're gonna end the session for the night. Uh, I just wanted to spit fire into his direction, but no. 